the college basketball experience preview and picks episode for Saturday, March 16th on the sports gambling podcast network is brought to you by cut cut is a peer to peer social betting platform. That's us based and available in 40 different States head to cut.com. That's K U T T.com and use that promo code S G P N for a 10% deposit bonus. We're also brought to you by underdog fantasy play their fantasy pickup for a chance to win a hundred times the amount of money you can enter in NBA, NHL, college basketball, and much, much more sign up today using the promo code SGPN. You get a hundred percent deposit match. We're also brought to you by champs run your own March madness pool and enter champs free bracket contest for a chance to win a thousand dollars. Go to sports gambling podcast.com slash champs to enter today. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Yes, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or, or uh, visit hofbets.com. Uh, Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today, people. And remember, as always, folks, to let it ride. This is Jerry Glanville. And you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, brother. Experience preview and picks episode for Saturday, March 16th. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The slate has been absolute fire. Just typical March 16th shit every year. You know, it's just typical. It's typical that we get this many awesome games. So, uh, yeah, what are you doing, folks? Um, if you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, that's fair. My name is Colby Swing at database Dan, AKA pick Don D that's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. And you're nothing but a chameleon, lemon-headed, coward, terrorist pussy. And I'm after you, buddy. You're going to pay for it. Good night. (laughs) Well, hope people come in to talk a little shit tonight because (laughs) fire yet again. It's that time of year. See if I can find a nice... uh, let me see if I can find. I'm probably not going to be able to find a nice one here. Uh, damn it! I had a nice one loaded up. Uh, I I had to restart the computer right before I went live. Um, but it was it was fantastic. It was something to the effect of uh, I don't know. Yeah, you drunken. I, I tune in and you drunken idiots are just locking games. How can anyone trust you? Well. <laughs> You can trust is pretty fucking good, judging by tonight's record. Uh, I am joined by my co-host. Get on over to youtube.com slash the college experience. Watch the show live. Uh, I'm joined by my co-host. Give it up for former, former video coordinator for Hall of Fame coach Bob Huggins and Frank Martin, the host of the Big 12 College Experience, the host of the Ryan and Rush show. Give it up for Ryan McIntyre, a.k.a. Money Line Mac. How you doing, man? You know, there were 36 games. I bet 33. They say it's too much, but is it too much? We're sitting at 19 and 11 with three to go. Let's go, Lobos. Mac tonight. Come on, make it Mac tonight. I am 19 and 8 with uh, two two wagers left. Good day. Good day. Good day. <laughs> and Happy I got a couple Friday. money lines that went a little wild. So I'm ready to talk shit to anyone that hops in there. Let's go. Uh, let's start things off with, uh, with the, uh, the first, Ooh, Ooh, we have a game Be- getting dicey. Before you get into that first game, shout out to Boz flow TV, sipping $20. He's uh, lo- yeah, love the yeah, name. Big fan of Boz. Got that book up there. The Boz, 
Um, shout out. To, we're grateful. Speaking of up there, Colby, a lot of, uh, so you're showing off the hair today for all the oh, yeah. audio listeners. A lot of the YouTube chat are, we need your comments on your hairline. Some people pointing it out. It's just as crooked as your shelves in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. See, here's the thing that's, uh, that's happened. Me and Nick were talking about this. I think on Monday's show, you start getting 38, 39, 40 years old. That shit just starts going back. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's just going deep back. Pretty soon I'm gonna look like fucking. Remember Kevin Willis, that old power forward for the Atlanta Hawks and Miami Heat. See, he never shaved that shit. He had that shit starting. He still kept the hair starting back here, right? It was a ballsy move, but I can respect it. But uh, no, I mean it's going back. You know, it's going back, and it is crooked as fuck. So I mean, it's either crooked <laughs> as fuck or uh, or or just the. Uh, I, yeah, I had to give credit crooked. to who said it. Circle yeah. jerk back Jen. He, he goes, Colby's hairline is as crooked as those shelves. Look, if you can't make fun of yourself, <laughs> if you can't make fun of yourself, this isn't the right fucking place for you. All right. Some, somebody yeah. else called it the Matt Painter cut. So I got that Matt you. Painter. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Um, <laughs> that's true. Um, uh, currently, Sweating out. Actually, I know I have three wagers still left. Uh, currently sweating out. UC Davis, UT yeah, Arlington. Bet every game like me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, dude, you you have to appreciate that we're gonna be we're gonna be in the dark for a couple of days here. We you talked little, about it. We're like, yeah. dude, appreciate it while you have it. It's going to be gone before you know it. You might as well get yeah. down on every game. Fuck, we doing? Yeah. You only live once. Exactly, exactly. And uh, how about those little bitch institutions like Ole Miss and who was the second uh -huh. team that someone else said? Indiana. They don't want to play in the NIT. See, this is let's let's just I'm not I'm not talking games. Let's talk about I don't want to watch how, how many either. bitches are out in the on, like we have a society full of bitches. Yep. Who doesn't want to play basketball? You get see, this is why I do agree with Saban's comments to a certain extent, because like I would want to play basketball as many a trip to Vegas to play basketball with it, with your teammates for your final time, perhaps. Yeah. But we're in this era where like everyone's afraid. Everyone's afraid. Oh, what happens if I go play and I hurt my knee? Right. Oh, that's the loser. That's, that's, that's the loser bracket. Hey, if you go there and win it, you prove the committee wrong. You say, this is the team that should have been it. I'm just yeah. so sick of all these fucking pussies, man. Like it's just, I don't believe to live life that way. And I, I just think to me, I lose all respect with Chris Beard and Ole Miss. I lose all respect with Mike Woodson in Indiana. I, I just don't understand. And I know other schools have done it before, but it's like, it, it wasn't always this trendy. I don't understand the logic. You get to play basketball. I'm 40 fucking yeah. one years old. I would love to go be, I mean, I know I could still play basketball, but I'm saying if I could go with, I think about it all the time. I say, even like my buddies growing up, I'm like, I would fucking pay a thousand dollars to just be 20 years old again and play basketball. I just think we're fucking insane. We've lost our fucking mind. Everyone's afraid to get injured. Dude, you know, it's like bowl hate. games. It's like bowl games. It's like, you don't want to yeah. play. But what are we, what are we doing? What are we fucking doing? I don't know. Fucking, I, you blow yeah. out your knee, fucking walking the dog. I mean, you just fucking step yeah. wrong and boom, you're done. Uh, honestly, Colby, though, I, I mean, this is the fuck SEC, fuck Big Ten podcast with the way it's gone in recent memory. It's no, it's oh, not yeah. fitting that th those are the schools. But hey, dude, I hope they all opt out. I hope all the high boom. majors opt out so that we yeah. could see a mid major tournament with the best teams, the one and two seeds that all got upset in the tournament. And I would love to watch that. Indiana State, uh, Appalachian State, Eastern Washington. Um, who else got fucking upset? Yeah. Uh, like, why wouldn't you go? Yeah. I don't yeah. understand it. I'm right there All with the Mac. Two teams that have lost. Yeah. I'm hmm. right there with Mac. That's my take on this. Like, if there are high power teams that are declining, give them yeah. to the yeah. one seeds that were automatically stripped of their NIT oh, yeah. automatic berth. Like that was so bullshit in the preseason. I went back and I wanted to, so I I downloaded that pod that we talked about it in the conference preview. We did it for the uh, the Mountain West, um, where we went 15 minutes talking about NIT. 
there was a lot of good shit uh, from that show. If you want to go back and listen to it, a lot of it still holds. But it was tough trying to pull one certain clip to put out like a 30-second thing on it because it sucks for the one seeds from the regular season uh, conference champions from the one-bid leagues that don't go, that now their season's over. We're talking about like the Eastern Kentuckys of the world that wouldn't get a bid into the NIT. It fucking blows, yeah. but they earn the right yeah. of I'm with you. Play. I'm with you, but I still think there's something to it. If you're Eastern Kentucky and you get that berth, let's say you put them in and you have a shot to beat Ole Miss or Indiana. It just, and I get it. I, I, there's a fine line to me. You, you should try to get all those one seeds in there, but I also think you got to have some big schools because that's part of the fun is like, you remember when uh, Robert Morris beat Kentucky in the NIT? Remember that? Yes. They stormed the court. Yeah. So I'm saying part of that's the supposed to be fun. Play. Everyone's just a bitch. Everyone's a bitch. Yeah. And at, I don't understand same, it. Like at the same that? time though, with a lot of these you're you're using the term big teams or big schools. Half of them don't even want to play. So why the fuck does, should we include you in our tournament? Well, I mean, it wasn't always thing. like that though, Noah. That's what I'm saying. I've been watching yeah. the NIT since the fucking late 80s. You know what I mean? Like this is it wasn't always like that. So I, it's a certain amount of pride. And that's where I like, as much as I shit on Saban, cause I will, I do believe that was the funniest fucking shit I ever seen, but there is a certain element that in there somewhere in all that shit that he was saying, all that bullshit he was saying was a tiny bit of truth. And that truth oh, is was. the way that we conduct ourselves in society, th- you know, so concerned living life. So fucking concerned about the possibility of injury that you're missing the fucking boat from the start. You're missing the experience. And they're going to be 70 fucking years old one day. And they're going to regret that they didn't play a fucking game with their buddies. uh, You know, one more time, especially if you're a team that just got left out. If you're Ole Miss and you run the table, you're going to say, see motherfuckers, we should have been in the NIT or we should have been in the NCAA tournament. That's on you committee. What is their self fucking pride? I was going to say this before biggest something scumbag even tipped us $5 using the comment here. He says true fans only watch the NIT. The scumbag bet their kids tuition on it. Uh, <laughs> but to to his point, the reason, uh, one huge reason why they like they fucked with the NIT is to get high majors in. That way, the TV ratings would improve. But it's hilarious because the, the they're fans, all saying no. Yeah, the fans are not tuning in to watch the barely no, above five hundred. But this is a generational thing, team. man. This is a generational thing. The same thing the, is happening with bowl games. The DGENs and the CBB sickos are tuning into the NIT games. The average fan is not tuning into the NIT. This is a generational fucking thing, though, because the bowl games, you got players that don't even fucking get drafted opting out of bowl games. <laughs> I mean, I I I would play a million out of it. I don't care if I was projected top five pick. I would fucking play. <laughs> I'm serious because I, I believe you don't live life fucking it, afraid of what could possibly happen. You know what I mean? You live life, the, you know, to me, I would live life the fullest that you can every single day. Hey, I'm healthy. Let's go play fucking football. And yeah. guess what? If I lose out, if I, if I tear my knee up and I fucking lose out on a hundred million dollars, then guess what? That wasn't, that wasn't my path. I'll find my own path. You know what I mean? Like it, it's just everyone's a little bitch. Everyone's a you're, bitch. Yeah. You're bringing up football, and I know that's the more comfortable topic uh, for you. And that thing all started with my team. That was Jake Butt, the tight end who was supposed to be first rounder, like borderline first round, second round tight end, blows out his ACL, and then he gets picked in the fifth round. Like that was when that all started. And way after the fact, now Butt is in the booth calling games. But he still says, like, playing those bowl games and playing in postseason games in general, I'll try to get back to the basketball topic. Those are experiences and and enjoying and, like, fun times that you're not going to get back, to Colby's point. And but says he would play again if he had the choice. Of course. Okay, yeah. Well. yeah. I remember Anthony Poindexter was a safety from Virginia that actually played. uh, He could have went out. He could have went pro his junior year, first round draft pick. And he ended up, he ended up uh, coming back his senior year and uh, he tore his knee up pretty bad. And back then the knee surgeries aren't as good as today. That's the irony too. It's like the the fucking torn ACL is nothing these days. Um, But 
you know, he comes back, he, t- he ends up being like a seventh round draft pick by the Cleveland Browns. And I think he's currently Penn state's defensive coordinator and he's paid very handsomely. So the li- life is still okay. Life is still okay. You know, I bet you, I bet you, and to, I bet you he found, you know, in that ad- adversity that he battled, I bet you he found shit inside of himself. He thought he probably never would have done or had, you know, experiences to relate to. And uh, unfortunately, you know, cause what, let's be honest, whenever you have shit going great in life, you don't really learn shit. When you struggle is when you learn. Anyway, let's get, let's do the fuck be, shit. before I wanted to hit on one more thought of this. I love the new headline, the new caption for backing out of the NIT. Is, I've seen it with both beard and the Hoosiers. Now they want to hammer the transfer portal now. Like, Get the <laughs> fuck out of here! That is not the re- that's not the only reason why yeah. you're fucking backing out. The only people in the portal, are, the only people in the portal are, are the fucking guys from the losing ass fucking teams. The fucking good players are playing in that fucking March Madness and in the NIT. You're not and winning speaking, with these fucking sorry ass yeah. players that fucking went twelve and fucking twenty and were cancers on their team. There's a reason and some speaking of these teams of, are twelve and twenty. Yeah, like the the hit the portal thing is hilarious to me. Because fuck they're not going to have a team to play with. The, the rumors about Indiana has been there's going to be a mass exodus if Mike Woodson returns yeah. as head coach. And it sounds like he yeah. is. So best of luck playing with the three bench players that you have. You, yeah. Made. I mean, first, you wouldn't you think we got to get more reps for our players? Yeah. You know right? what I mean? Like, yeah, you're not in the NCAA tournament for a reason. <laughs> um, you're, you're right. <laughs> so stupid. Everyone lives like a bitch these days. Um Anyway, total bitch. I mean, why? Yeah. I, I did this. I lose and, all respect and, and for that. I, I saw his chat saying business decision. Get the fuck out with business decision, man. Yeah. Play basketball. Yeah. Fucking be a human you're being. Gonna be, you're gonna be, be dead one day. Being. That's a free fucking trip to Vegas. A free experience with God. your with your friends. I'm assuming God. your teammates are your friends, your brothers. To 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 go lace it up and play basketball on nationally oh national television. It's so fucking we're fucking insane. We're an insane it's society. Um, we, we, we're so in all these narratives and these fucking yeah. group think fucking sings uh business decision or um player safety. It's like shut the fuck up and just play basketball for fucking yeah. you're a basketball player. You're not a fucking politician, you're a fucking basketball player. We need change, like Flopkowski, and then he fucking faked seven injuries between now and then basketball and shut the fuck but, up. But that, it's we so need more hard. of that in life. Basketball is so hard oh, to play. I'm not yeah. talking about to be really good is being is hard, right? Yeah. But to play the actual game, it's like the Kevin McHale cl- clip, uh, you yeah. know, that I was referring to the other day. Anyway, uh, yeah, everyone's a bitch. Fuck you, Ole Miss. Fuck you, Indiana. Um, all right. Let's get to it. Uh, but before we do, we're going to recap all of the action. I want to tell you the college basketball experience is brought to you by merch madness. Yes. March madness and merch madness go together like Jack and Coke, uh, 15% off everything in the merch store promo code madness. Um, you want to pick Dundee t-shirt, you know, you know, you do, you want an eat shit pit t-shirt, you know, you do, you want a bet detective t-shirt hop on over there. You got it all. Um, we're also brought to you by cut cut is a peer to peer social betting platform. That's us based and available in 40 different States. P2P social betting is a new and better way to bet, bet directly against your friends or, uh, or other users on sports, politics, pop culture, and other events with verifiable outcomes, plus tons of fun social features that give it a feel of a betting social network, so to speak. Uh, cut offers lower VIG and fully customizable odds. You can create your own bets and, uh, cut handles the payment side of things. So you never have to chase anyone down for dollars. Um, and social features include group chats, betting leaderboards, head to head history, user profiles, uh, fan groups, and much, much more. Um, so what are you doing folks? Download cut today in the app store or over at cut.com. That's K U T T.com. Use that promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. Let's go. And, uh, we're also brought to you by underdog fantasy. Underdog fantasy is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. It's also the fastest growing fantasy app in the industry. Uh, pick whether your favorite players will have a higher or lower stat total in this week's game for a chance to win big. You can win up to a hundred times the amount of money you enter in a single night. Pick between two and five players to build a pick them entry. And uh, the more players you pick, the the better your odds are. So what are you doing, folks? Sign up today with the promo code SGPN. 
and get your first deposit doubled up to a hundred dollars as well as uh, an instant pick them special visit underdogfantasy.com. Find them in the app store. And don't forget to register with the promo code SGPN to get your first deposit doubled up to a hundred dollars as well as the instant pickup special cannabis capper has been killing it with these shout out to cannabis capper. Hell of a good guy. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, check, follow him on Twitter. He's been writing a great, much great article, sports gambling podcast.com. Uh, yeah. Get on over there. No, you see anything for tomorrow. I, I, I was looking earlier. I did a show and uh, there was none available. There might yeah, be some there, now. There are four games that have trickled out now. Uh, the two Ivy League games, <clears throat> the uh, the America East final, and then one of the A10 semis. I'm going to take you to one of the Ivy League games. I'm going to take you to uh, Yale's Danny Wolf. He's a forward. I'm going to go with his higher than two assists. Um, I know you're probably thinking, like, no, what are we, what are we doing taking a forward and dishing out dimes here? Uh, Cornell, one of the 100 worst teams, 150 worst teams in opponent assist rate per game. Uh, and Danny Wolf had four assists the last time he played the Big Red, and he's hit this in six straight games. So Danny Wolf of Yale, higher than two assists. Let's fucking go. Remember the Ivy league tournament starts tomorrow folks. So get on over there. Promo code TCE SGPN underdog fantasy. All right, we are back and it is time to recap out the gate. Double lock Michigan state covered the number against Purdue. Still convinced Michigan state's not great, but uh, I don't know. I think you might have something to say about this one. Your thoughts on uh, this this uh, outcome there in the Big Ten? Oh, dude, I I was more impressed with Michigan State the last two days I've been all year. I thought they got completely hosed today. I, I thought the way the game was officiated, catering to Edie, um, and not so much Edie too. The fouls that were called on Tyson Walker, Hogard, those guards from Michigan State, their whole team in foul was a joke, and you start to wonder why. Purdue always peters out early in the tournament. It's because I think they're protected by the Big Ten officials. I mean, it's every single night with this team. Every single night they shoot a ridiculous amount of free throws. We saw Chris Collins at Northwestern thrown out. I I, I can't watch these Purdue games anymore, and, and I look forward to watching them choke again. I I wanted to get on board, but I I I, I see holes again. And I think they're, I think they're protected by the big, big 10 officials in my opinion. Noah, your I mean, Purdue Boilermakers. Yeah. yeah. Real quick, Mac, while I'm talking, if you want to bounce back and bounce back in or bounce out and bounce back in, I don't know why, but was his connection in and out for you, Colby? A little bit, a little yeah. bit. His no. screen um, is a little bit blotchy as well. Um, but we heard everything now. Yeah, we yeah. we heard everything. The screen was lagging a little bit. Um, so Greg Waddell uh, does pretty good work, in my opinion, with Sleepers Media. There was a lot of – I mean, this was like the only game going on in the beginning of the day. There was a lot of talk about the refs being pretty bad. There were a couple of calls that I probably wouldn't have made. But in rebuttal, Braden Smith had two fouls in the first four minutes of this game. I don't think Purdue got a friendly whistle there. Um, and also they do, they're a pretty disciplined team. 11th, like I watch this team more than most people. Uh, this isn't, it's not normally this bad with the refs. That was just bad crew. In my opinion, if it was even that bad, I thought it was bad both ways. Um, they have the 11th least fouls per game. Purdue does. So yeah, they why? also, what? Why? Why do they have the eleven least fouls? I don't know. Because they they're don't pretty get called for they're, anything. They're a disciplined bunch. Like they're well, a crew well, well, that yeah, have I been together that. for two years. <laughs> they, they, they ain't cold, but they're counting like down eating. seven, six, five. <laughs> and when you have a guy that's seven, five that nobody can handle down low, and you change the charge block foul uh, and the rules and that, that's going to the- cause a lot of fouls to go in Purdue's way. There's been a lot of games though. I remember that one of like a, a, a thing went viral on Zach Eady just beating the shit out of somebody. 
Yeah, it was Michigan State the last time they played. I think it was. I think it was not Michigan State. I think it was another team. Michigan State soft down low. No, I think it was that's like a, uh, that's uh, Sissoko today. He fucking played his Sissoko's ass off. Ass. I want dude, to say he, it was like dude, Northwestern. He changed the whole game today. Yeah. He changed the whole game today, and then they called a couple ticky tack fouls, and then they had to go back to Cooper and Booker, who had no shot at stuff. Booker's start. the best one they've got. Yeah, he missed a wide open fucking three to tie the game. I thought Izzo. I thought Izzo. Mon- Mon- Monty might be. Uh, yeah, look, right. there's a lot of people in the chat that did not bet on the game that are saying, look, I, mean, I had I Michigan was, State I in the bad. final four last year. People could call me biased against but them. I, I all thought the calls want, were bad. The calls were bad. Now I were bad actually, both ways. That's what I'm saying. Braden Smith was in oh, foul trouble four minutes. Edie game. to me, specifically Edie has gotten away with fucking murder this year. It's ridiculous. I di- yeah. I disagree because they changed the rule that dude, they changed the rule. The, what do you mean? Dude, he, he is now able to pivot and go in like a fucking bowl out of bowl in a china shop because they don't char- they don't call the charge anymore. Dude, they no. changed the rule on that. Defensively, he whacked a guy from Wisconsin the other day. He fucking knocked his fucking eyeball out of his socket and they didn't call foul. That guy gets away with so much shit. It is ridiculous. And he's yeah. a great player. He is a great player, but he gets away with murder like Colby said. Yeah, I mean, they, 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 enjoy pro- they protect yeah. the shit out of him because they want Purdue Sunday afternoon because they want to talk about whoever's on the mic is this year. Well, no, Purdue. this is their one seed. Yeah. Like they need, they protect him because they yeah. know that their conference is ass. No, they're, they um, should. They're they should now. They should yeah. want a Minnesota going out and beating Purdue. They should want to promote no. somebody else so they can get another bid. Their conference sucks this year. They know they have the final championship game before Selection Sunday. They want Purdue there. They want the narrative. Can Purdue is this the year they because the brackets are already the brackets already set. Everything's already set, so they're not talking about the Big Ten championship. Necessarily about it's not bracket. It's all it's all the drama. It's like no, the drama is not on that game. Last year they weren't even talking about that game in the in the uh, halftime show. That's why I was pissed. Talk about the fucking game. Give us an analysis on the, on the two teams. They're talking about the bracket that's currently playing out and who's going to get in and who's going to get out. When the committee's already got this thing fucking set, I'm there sneezing. are now there are ah. now two or three different versions of the bracket that have already been complete. The Saturday and Sunday results do not matter anymore. This happened last year too. But they want they Purdue there because it's ratings. It's the best player in college basketball. They want him there. That was ridiculous. I thought Michigan State was better today. I I thought they played really well, and I actually if they were better, why were they down ten for like fourteen minutes in the? Because their whole team was in foul trouble. Their whole Purdue was too. No, 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 Zach. It was was bad both ways. No, no, (laughs) just because one guy's not in foul trouble doesn't mean that the entire team got a favorable whistle. No, I don't. I don't know what this means. Like, I don't know what this is. Tom is the law. Tom Izzo Purdue went out of his way in his uh, Tom Izzo does not do about? that where he goes out of his way to, in his in his interview to go I don't like the way the game's called and then he just walks off. Is like, Izzo's hey. another whiny old coach just like Rick Pitino that says he doesn't work the refs when you know damn well he is. Those guys are pretty fucking good. Those guys are pretty good. The Rick, refs Rick's not really. Good. No, the refs are fucking bad. Slick Rick and we'll, Izzo are pretty good. We'll we'll get to that Big East game that was pretty entertaining between Rick uh Rick Pitino and Dan Hurley. Oh, and the, and another bitch. See, Dan Hurley got a fan kicked out. <laughs> Why is it every night? Did he at actually point, get him kicked out? Yeah, I don't think he got him. At some point, it's got to be you. Out, at some point, it's got to be you. You have this many t- times this shit happens. At what point do we say, hey, maybe I'm just a fucking ridiculous character? Just say. When I was playing... And my my dad says this about being a college baseball coach as well. Like when you're in the field of play, like you're in the zone. I blocked everything out. Yeah, I never had to worry about the outside noise. Not what you should do. It's what you should do. I don't get it. Um. So we cashed on Michigan State. Well, go ahead, go ahead, uh, Colby. Let's continue. Well, we were, uh, we're, I mean, dude, how they were losing. We? Yeah. You foul when you're down. I don't, no. I don't get it. Like, no, it was, down it was a couple digits, digits for 10 minutes in the second half, and they were losing in the final minutes. You got a <laughs> foul to catch back. No, up it was a tie game. game with four that minutes foul, left. That stat it's is a tie huge. game. 
That's that's skewed. They have to foul to get back into the game. Is that what you say when Fairleigh Dickinson upsets you? Is the stats are skewed? Is that what happened? No, I said they missed shots. We talked about this pre-show. They missed shots against Fairleigh. St. Peter's, North Texas. I mean, who's going to be the next victim for Purdue this year? (laughs) Um, they don't get the whistle of March, and they fucking peter out. If you want, if you want the real answer to that, it's a 14 seed, or (laughs) yeah, because they've lost to a 13 seed, a 15, and a 16. So it would be the 14 in the Elite Eight. There you go. We're covering while everybody's watching these games, by the way. Yeah. I mean, we fucking were absolute fire today. So, yes. I mean, you know who gave you UTEP on the money line? Us. (laughs) (laughs) Us. UTEP with the points. UTEP on the money line. 65 63 against Sam Houston State. Let's go. Your thoughts on this one, man. This was a nice little come from behind win. Back to back comebacks. Dude, tink tink. All of a sudden, Golden's got the fucking, uh, he's got the mojo that he's got back in Avalon Christian. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to uh, see the next matchup because I did hit on the other side of the bracket, too. But we'll get to that. Uh, but I will talk about right here. East Carolina got absolutely fucking <laughs> destroyed. Bad pick. Uh, the one wow. seed's a one seed. <laughs> Dude. Hey shit. Hey shit. Hey man. I rode this. Hey, it, it wasn't just Colby riding this fucking alma mater. I was all over ECU. I thought ECU would win this game outright. I mean, you've looked at every one seed, whether it was Eastern Washington, um, uh, fucking uh, Sam Houston. Every, yeah. All these one yeah. seeds in these pressure leagues, one bid leagues have struggled. I'd make that bet again tomorrow. I know we ate shit today and look like clowns, but uh, good win you, in South Florida again. You know the problem with ECU? Rick Barnes. Yeah, and they beat nobody good this year. Any yeah. good team they played. Uh, the best win they had was what, Wilmington? Yep. I mean, that's pretty shitty to me. Like, yep. like even years past, like I said, we would beat Houston or get up and beat somebody good. Yeah. Got your ass whooped right after like you see you had like, I think like a five to two lead or something like that. Was- Pretty much got your ass whooped the entire rest of the game. But Hey, yeah. just remember it's the same crowd. That's clowning us for the ECU pick also had uh what was it? Toledo and Richmond yesterday in that one, eight matchup where they yeah. both fucking petered out. Yeah, take our percentages, saying. dude. I mean, we fucking dominated today. Yeah. I don't give a shit. You see, ECU basketball has been horrible since fucking 1992. All right, so yeah. this I'm used to this. I'm used to this record. Now I hate shit though. Bad pick. Um, real quick before we move on, Gary K goes. Schwartz is the opposite of Rick Barnes. It only looks like it's in the rather regular season. <laughs> What's Rick Barnes done in the postseason? Yeah, he's done nothing. Uh, one one final on, four no. in like a thousand years, and he had the most expensive team in fucking college basketball. Um, you can get right into Rick Barnes, and, and we'll yeah. talk about his team in a little bit. Oh, that's that's ironic that it's the very it's next right game. Uh, Mississippi State seventy three, Tennessee fifty six. This is one of the only games I didn't bet. Thank God, I because I would have took Tennessee. I would have took Tennessee. <laughs> Mississippi State, Chris Jan seventy three. To fifty six in Nashville. Woo, woo. Um, I, 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 Mississippi State's in the tournament. I would assume, <laughs> right? They have to be. I mean, we're, we're trying to put teams in the tournament that are on the bubble. We got all these bubble teams that are losing. You got to fucking take care of Mississippi State. They beat a one seed that is battling for a one seed in their home state and they didn't just beat them. They beat the fucking shit out of them. Yeah. They this was, the did they ever, I don't even know if they were ever losing like no. maybe two, nothing or something. It's like I, ECU. I kept, <laughs> yeah. I kept saying, I'm like, Oh dude, Mississippi state's going to go through a drought. Tennessee will crawl back in it. They probably won't cover because they're down 10, but they're going to win the game. No, they never came close. Um, and Tennessee was off a loss. Everybody, they weren't, it wasn't a sleepy spot. They just lost to Kentucky it's time to get get right, get going into March Madness. And uh, man, I'm a big Rick Barnes guy. I like Rick Barnes, but goddamn, dude, how many fucking postseason games are you just gonna lay eggs in, man? 
I got nothing personally against Rick Barnes by the, but, but I just find it hilarious that he's this consistent. Yeah. He's so consistently shitty in March. Yeah. It's almost impossible. It's like amazing. Him and Schwartz Genius. are right next to each but, other yeah. today on the TV. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, what is wrong <laughs> with these guys? Um, Next up, I know you guys double locked this one. I didn't touch this game. Wisconsin, 70. Northwestern, 61. I'll play your music. It's a double lock for Noah and Mac. Once again, I, didn't, I was on I, Northwestern. Yeah, we oh, had. North, we, we, yeah, we both missed. We had Northwestern. Yeah. Oh, why did I and think you I, guys took Wisconsin? And then I took a nap for the rest of the show, so I didn't add any more picks. But. <laughs> yeah, I thought you guys took Wisconsin, so you fooled me. You fooled me. I just bragged. Uh, <laughs> I didn't touch this game because I I just. I don't, I try not to watch big 10 basketball. I hate um, it. Uh, boo boo. He got off to a fast start. They went up double digits and that was about it for Northwestern. They really didn't score the rest of the day. Shout out to Wisconsin quietly playing better basketball now. Yeah, actually maybe it was CJ that has Wisconsin. Maybe I'm just getting all my fucking human, all my human beings confused. Um, he looks like a Wisconsin guy. Yeah. Cloud brain. <laughs> um, <laughs> I uh, I did bet Bethune Cookman and I ate shit here. So uh, shout out to I Grambling. Agree. Yeah, sixty five fifty three. It sets up for Grambling and uh, another school we'll mention in a little bit. Uh, but boy, did I uh, did I jump right back into winning because I flew solo on Western Kentucky in a hundred miles of hate. This Middle Tennessee bullshit out of here. Thirty one point win. For Middle Tennessee State, I mean, for uh, Western Kentucky against Middle Tennessee State. This is a battle. You won. Yeah, I don't even remember. I don't even remember you battling that. Um, don't worry. I got you in a blowout here in a minute. Yeah, that's true. I think it's the next game. <laughs> oh, um, but how about this nugget? Western Kentucky is now one of seven programs nationally with 48 plus 20 win seasons. Yep. The others, Kentucky, North Carolina, Duke, UCLA, Kansas, and Louisville. Where's the respect? Yep. They need a shot. Hey, ACC, why don't you call Western Kentucky? They got a decent football program. Basketball program, you could you could tout on this. Kick out Bo- I mean Boston College. How about that? Kick out Boston College. I know Louisville will be pissed, but they're gonna be pissed anyway. All right. So do it. Just do it. Um yeah, and we had a battle here, and you dominated because Auburn won by 31. What in the fuck is this? <laughs> There's no way that Auburn's this good, right? <laughs> it's a bad matchup. It's just a bad, bad matchup. Yeah, There's this is so the much- second second time this year that they've 40 and 30, right? 40 and 30. This is such and a really bad look. Alabama yeah. is kind of like Auburn. Alabama beat fucking South Carolina by about 36 or whatever the fuck it was. Did South you see- Carolina struggles with these teams that, that just go, foo, foo, foo. I mean, it's South Carolina. They have overachieved. They've done yeah. uh, Lamont's done a great job, Lamont Paris. But like when you get your bracket on Sunday and you see them as like a five seed, that's a team that could get upset yeah. because yeah. their margin of error is so small. Well, and, and that, you know, that their, their roster probably didn't buy any players where Alabama, uh, you know, Alabama and Auburn, you know, damn well they did. Yeah. But uh, do you see Neto? It's his contract today. Top five. Coach in college basketball? I did. You know why they did that, right? Yeah. Michigan could come calling, but still. <laughs> as a guy that's I mean, uh or Ohio uh, State. I mean, Ohio we'll, we'll State talk about Alabama in a won. second. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about Alabama in a second, but tip they're starting to be we have Rick Rick Barnes' son uh in they NATO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> for for what it's worth, it might have been a dodge bullet too, because like even if Michigan was to get Nate Oates, he pulls in a lot of transfers. Our admissions was never really going to allow that to fly. Hell no. After I wouldn't want straight- Nate Oates if I was Michigan. Why do you guys so care about academics? Yeah. It gives a fuck. I don't know. But it's happened two straight years. Terrence Shannon Jr. last year and this wanna year. Wannabe Ivy Bluff. League. They're like a wannabe <laughs> Ivy League. They just sit there. Send their ass to fucking Ivy League. They can it's not the Michigan it. way. It's not the Michigan way. Where would Michigan finish this year in the Ivy League? Last, probably like sixth. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think they'd be middle of the pack too. 
So right now I see Arlington battled their way back to tie yeah, this game. Three I minutes left. Arlington. Me too. And how about Hawaii hanging tough? They've cut this close with Davis with 35 seconds left. Yeah. Do I got to do the rest of the fucking show? Um, we had another battle, by the way. We're just, there was a lot of battles yesterday. Battle UAB uh, covers against the Wichita State Shockers. My boys, let me down finally. Boom. Let's go. This is a loyalty play on my part. Wichita came through for me so many times recently. I'm like, I got to ride them. Uh, <laughs> they they beat Memphis outright. Honestly, they fucking had the lead with five minutes, and then they gave up that 10-0 run in like 30 seconds where they turned the ball over. Happy for Andy Kennedy. I'm a big Andy Kennedy fan, as everybody knows. Uh, oh, I'll be on UAB tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Kennedy's getting revenge in Dallas. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, um, go. Let's go Birmingham. UConn, they win. I did play the money line in St. John's, though. Yeah, so right I, but I played the points and the money yeah. line. I still made money, but for a second, I thought thought it was possible. Shout out to yeah. this game, fun game. Besides Danny Hurley being a little bitch, the oh, worst. He's saying he's screaming at me. He's screaming at me. He said profanity. Get him out of here. Security, security. He said profanity about me. He's the fucking worst, dude. He's the worst. He's I so fucking funny. hate him. I like. I don't. I don't. I feel like most of the people I don't even hate. Like Rick Barnes, I don't hate. Danny Hurley, I fucking hate. I fucking hate. Why? Just he's just such a bitch. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what could he have possibly said? What could he? What could he have possibly said to warrant that? I, I have no idea, dude. I I can't wait till they get bounced early in the tournament. I'm telling you, UConn UConn's get, not going to make the Final Four, and I, everybody's going to say I'm on crack. You can fucking clip this. UConn will not make the Final Four this year. They got he's too big a distraction, man. And I, dude, I, I'll give Patino credit, man. He fucking had those guys ready. They were right there. Um, UConn's got better players, but when yeah. they get in, when they get in the dance and it's a one and done situation and they got, all, they got the target on their back. They didn't have the target on their back last year. Everybody thinks they did. They did not. They were a fucking four seed. Um, I, I, I UConn's a team. I want to fade in the dance this year. I, I they got well, too much. I can't, I can't say that. Like Dan, look, I, I think they Danny Hurley's ridiculous with his antics, but I think he's a damn good coach. Cam Spencer, all his anim, 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 antics and all that bullshit. They, like that's those are the kind of teams that peter out early, in my opinion. Danny Hurley is good They're for college loud. basketball. They're too loud. He's was, good for yeah. I was gonna come in and be the devil's advocate here because Colby always says like you need guys like this in college yeah. sports and especially coaches because the coaches are more long term than players are. You Hurley's need assholes. You need assholes. Like one of the things that, uh, like to me, like the NFL has lost that. The NFL before used to have so many. Like you knew, like oh, this fucking asshole. I can't wait if we beat them. Right now, you need to have assholes, villains. Now your assholes in the NFL are that Miami Dolphins head coach, like that nerd. And, that no, that's, on everybody's it doesn't nerves. even count. I don't like, even consider him an asshole. Well, He's just I'm, a fucking I'm saying dork. like yeah. everybody, yeah. like everybody reacts to what he does, like a, a Danny Hurley or. Like yeah, that's yeah. that's the type of shit. That Danny role. Hurley is on like. See, here's one thing. I used to hate Steve Spurrier in Florida. When he was at Florida. Mm -hmm. I used to absolutely could can't cannot. I could not stand him. Him and Bowden, to tell you the truth. But then coming out of it, you really appreciate him. Like now you're just like, oh fuck, man. I wish they had Spurrier again with the visor, and he's just complaining all the time. You know, it makes you hate him, but it's good for the the health of the sport. Um. Anyway, one one last thing before we move on from UConn specifically. We faded the fuck out of UConn last year in March. And I we got didn't. burned. I took him in the first weekend too, but then I in did. the last yeah. four games I faded him. No, I did too. I did I too. Took I took faded him the whole fucking team. tournament. I, I faded him the, the whole team. tournament. Because yeah. Hurley had a track record of struggling <laughs> in the NCAA tournament. So I, I was I like, now nah, they're gonna I, lose. I had, yeah. I had UConn get into the Sweet 16, and I had uh, I had Gonzaga beating them. I had, I had them getting knocked out in the Sweet 16, and then I faded them every game after. We ate I shit. Took, I took them against Arkansas. I took them against Gonzaga, and I definitely took them against Miami. I think I they're had gonna them losing. Lose. 
in the Sweet 16 this year. That's I think I had them losing in the Sweet 16 last year. Yeah. But the year before I was on New Mexico State. So I mean, if you're gonna talk all that shit, which I know my guy Dave, who's not here, but I know he's a huge Yukon fan, he knows I was fading them all last year. I was like, Well, I was right the year before I was spot on. But uh yeah. That was the big TikTok that launched TC and Sports Gambling Podcast two years ago. So there yeah. we go. There we go. Uh no, I don't I don't even know what TikTok is. Noah handles all that shit. All right. Um so I did piss away Bowling Green here. Bowling Green plus two and a half. They lose by 13. Lost money there. Your thoughts on this one? I've been addicted and I took Kent in the end. I, I bet Kent because culture prevails in this league again. We got Kent so and Akron. You locked this up with me and then you switch sides, you crazy bastard. No, I, I, I went back. I made sure I did not lock it on the show because I was like, I don't think oh, I locked okay. it. Okay. I, I said I leaned to Bowling Green, but checked the picks page. I went Kent State because this morning I'm like, I, I I'm I I really want to bet Kent in the end because Kent, dude, they them and Akron are always in the finals. It's always those two teams. Yeah, um, we double locked Howard. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> the Bison. I have a future on them. Eighty. Norfolk State 74. Let's fucking go. Your thoughts on, on Norfolk State. Though another one seed says goodbye. Dude, like I said, keep fading the one seeds or what has been fade the one seed season. So we'll we'll do it again next year when we do the show again. Um we're running out of one seeds now that we only got two days left, but fading the one seeds has been a nice profitable system. Yep. And then uh, next up, uh, we took Ohio State in the points. Now, I'll be fair. I also played this on the money line. Money line did not hit, but I did a smaller bet on the money line. So I still made money on this game, but money line should have fucking hit, man. They, led the they were line. right there. Just get a fucking defensive rebound here. Get a defensive rebound. You should have this, but hey, we still hit. It's tough for the it's tough for the haters tonight. Tough, tough day for them. Tough weekend for them. It's an easy team to fade in March, Illinois. They are annoying. They are annoying. Yeah. Um. How about this? Maybe the game of the day. Yes, I did bet my St. Peter's Peacocks, and I do have a future on them. <laughs> Woo! Little buzzer beater. Where, where are those? Where are those people all year? Where the fuck are they? Where are they? What does uh, Harrison Ford say? If you do, you find that man. Who the fucks out there? Find that man that was talking all that shit. It was multiple. It was men, assuming maybe some women. Um, I told you, this Quinnipiac team wasn't sustainable. Wasn't sustainable. My peacock, and guess what I have? I have a, I have two futures in the M A A A A A A C, and they're both playing each other. So I'm cashing. Dundee's reg- home. <laughs> cashing regardless. Uh, your thoughts on the peacocks? Yes, I mean we talked about it. Quinnipiac, another overachieving one seed that we could see that was going to eventually fold. Um, great season though. I mean you got to give them credit. Um, one of the dark sides of March is we forget how good these two or how good these teams were from November to February. So Quinnipiac, great year. Um, I hope that they get in the NIT or uh, CB, probably CBI. Um, but uh, yeah, the Peacocks trying to go back dancing since uh, Sheen Holloway. I don't know why I forgot Sheen Holloway's name. I was like, Seton Hall's coach. What, what, what do you do? A name? show nonstop. You know, you're always on fucking. I got air. cloud Sometimes. brain. I got cloud brain. Cloud like, brain 362 teams. He knows yeah. 350 of their coaches' names. I was like, yeah. fucking Shaheen Holloway. How the fuck did I just forget his name for five <laughs> seconds of my life? He's fucking awesome. Uh, uh, shout out to up? the Peacocks, by the way. They cashed the cut custom bet for the College Experience and Sports Gambling Podcast. Yes, there we go. Three Huge ball. three. Huge Arlington. three by Arlington. Let's go. Let's fucking go. I was uh, expecting that kind of reaction when I was talking about our cut bet hitting. 
No, I mean, look, I, I, I did win there, but uh, I'm sorry. This guy, you got action on. It's tough to do a fucking podcast. Colorado State's crawling their way back in the game, by the way. Chat's on uh, UTA, too. It looks like there's like five people commenting about that one. This is 2.08 in the morning, Eastern time. Let's go. Uh, so how like about team. this? <laughs> Tony, man, I was fire all day. It was fire all day. Decided to bet pit plus seven and a half. Got a little dicey down the stretch. I got my back. Oh, eat shit. Pit oh. says YouTube.com oh. slash the college experience. Oh. <laughs> um, he secretly um, wants them in the tournament so he can wear that shirt in Vegas. <laughs> I'll wear it regardless. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, how about the Pitt Panthers covering for Dundee? I know you took Carolina, buddy. I oh, know yeah. you took this. is a <laughs> silent you know battle. <laughs> they deserve to go to the NIT because when the season was on the line, they chose to cover instead of still playing the game to win. Dude, I couldn't. I, I got so lucky. I shouldn't have covered this because I mean, I, no, I in what? theory I should have in a way, yeah. but then R.J. Davis missing that free throw. I was like, oh yeah. my god! I, I had turned. I had started to turn it off. Like I had gone to the search, but I still had the audio on. Like I was searching the channels to switch it, and I hear that he missed, and I'm like, oh, I'm fucking great. They're gonna they're dribbling it out. Fantastic. Um, loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Col- Colby, look over to your right. What just happened? They just make a three. I'm, I'm, what's going on? Am I looking at it, the chat it, or am I looking no, at this game? No, 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 no. Oh. The game am one. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> How does Pitt not foul there? I, like I, I was watching. I saw them say, call off the dogs. I go, this fucking team. Beautiful. Um, real, Beautiful. Real, realistic discussion. Pitt, Pitt should not be in the NCAA tournament. I know they finish. I'll, I'll take the unbiased head off. They finished well, but you cannot ignore what they did in November and December. Their best at a conference win is fucking West Virginia with six guys. They got swept by Carolina. They got swept by Clemson. Their win is against Duke. Objection. Three starters out. You took your unbiased hat off. You didn't take the unbiased shirt off. (laughs) No, that's never coming off. Each hit pit forever and ever. But, (laughs) dude, they they should not be in over some of these other teams. They finished strong. You give them credit for what they did down the stretch, but they're not an NCAA tournament team. I'm not fucking Bill. He, he, God, he's he's really pissing me off recently. <laughs> really pissing me off. Um, Just yeah, I mean, court. I tend to agree with you that I think they probably shouldn't. I mean, Less I need to see. I need to see who they put in though to compare. Indiana State should they be in over them? No, I think Indiana State should be in over them. Kansas State. I think Kansas State should be in over them. Texas A&M after tonight. <laughs> That's close, man. I think it's yeah. close because I think you could argue the, uh, like I, I kind of think A&M, but I feel like cause A&M has beat Kentucky twice now, but Pitt has a win at Duke. And then it's what's their second best win? What's Pitt's second best win? Um, that's not Pitt's fault though. At, at, it's not Pitt's at, fault. At, at yeah. Virginia. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and that's the whole other thing. Everybody, Yes, at Virginia is a good win. They suck too, though. I mean, come on. I think I would choose AM. But yeah, not, tomorrow. Not by much. <laughs> Mississippi State? Mississippi State's in over no, them. No, Mississippi I mean, State's in on. over both of them, in my opinion. Yeah. I would put Mississippi State in over AM and West Virginia's uh, like yeah. their third best win. Yeah. Um all this, right, hold on. This season Hang on. I've Hang been on. twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. Well, I could I could talk while you're watching it. This season I've been uh too busy kind of carrying. No, <laughs> yes, you're ahead of me. You're ahead of me. I'm gonna mute myself. I'm sorry. Mavericks, baby. <laughs> Ma- great fucking pump fake. Great pump fake. This. Good fundamentals. Way to go, Whitey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. The old pump fake. <laughs> so, so this year I've I've kind of been carrying college baseball Twitter. And I've had my hands full with that and haven't done the bracketology tomorrow. It's my plan to have one done. We're going to be able to talk about a little bit, some blind resumes. We're only picking five games. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with that and get you primed ready for uh, bracket reaction and the unveiling tomorrow, six Eastern three Pacific 
CBS. Let's fucking go. Hell fucking yeah. Uh, so yeah, I covered with Pitt. I'm telling you, my day, my day was fire. Uh, and one guy didn't tweet at me about their updated uh, ATS record. So congrats, Pitt, on your 21 and 10 <laughs> ATS record. Best of luck in the NIT. <laughs> Let me ask you something, though. Does Pitt have a better win than Michigan State? No, M- Michigan State beat Baylor. On but that was in four. Palm Springs. It beat Illinois, right. too. Oh, it was at Illinois, too, right? No, it was in I- Sparty. See, my thing is like Pitt's road win at Duke should mean something. It's not Pitt's fault that Duke's players fucking sat out. I I, I do yeah. agree with you that it still is at Duke. It still is those fucking crazy private school pussies that fucking will not stop tweeting at me for Flopkowski. Um, but it also you have to acknowledge that they did have three starters out. It's like true, but like I said, I mean that f- for the resume to me, like What's Michigan State's best road win? I always feel like you learn the most about teams when they win on the road. Real quick, I'll correct Colby before I bounce out. Uh, it probably does not help State's case either. Their best win against Baylor was, was not, not in Palm in, Springs. That's right, Arizona was, it was in Palm in, Springs. Right? No, it was in, it was in Little Detroit. Caesars Arena in Detroit. That's a home game. Yeah, it was. Their best road win was <laughs> Maryland. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I call me crazy. If I'm on that committee, I think you can make a case Pitt has a better resume than Michigan State. Now, Michigan State doesn't have as bad as loss as Pitt does. You can't lose to Missouri. I keep saying that. You cannot lose to yeah. Missouri. Yeah. Um Arlington gets the dub. Oh my God. I fucking love college basketball. I love Arlington, man. They are. I'm going to fucking move there. Start your football pro. How the fuck are you in Texas without a football program? We're going to burn down that university later tonight. Um, uh, All right. Let's continue on because I'm telling you, man. Got a dust up in the, in the, in the handshake line. Here we go. Well, you got to talk shit after you win a championship. Yeah. I'm saying you're supposed to, as you, as you shake hands, it's like that moment in a, what was it? Christmas vacation? One of the vacations where it's like, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, hi. Hi. Goodbye. Fuck you. Um, yeah. Uh, what a fucking, what a fucking win. <laughs> um, yeah. So my winning ways, guess what? They continued lock battle, Houston, 82, Texas tech, 59. Get this bullshit out of here. God damn it. Fucking Houston. Let's go. God damn it. I'm a fucking genius. I love Houston. They're so good. They're so good. <laughs> I keep betting against them. I'm like, there's regression coming. I go, no, nope, not tonight. They're fucking guarding again. They're that's losing. A, go ahead. That's another casual fucking blowout too. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> they dude, do Texas it. Texas Tech is good. I'm telling they, you, this they, is they can't, but, Dude, I'll say this is almost like your South Carolina uh, Auburn take, which I think might be accurate. Texas Tech tries to play like True. Houston, but Houston's True. way better at it. True. Uh, Greg, shout out to Greg who knows what I'm talking about. Kiss my, it's kiss my ass, kiss his ass. Happy, happy Anka. Uh, yeah. Um, now Houston's losing tomorrow night. Now. Oh, I agree. Oh, we'll yeah. We'll get to that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go, baby. Um, Hilton South. I got a lot of so, new fans here. Got a lot of Cyclone fans that are fans of me tonight, baby. So, <laughs> so uh we both took Texas AM and on the money line. Fuck out of here. This is a free show. Fuck out of here. Anyone that comes and talks shit, I mean I enjoy it. It makes for good content. So you save me, you do me a solid. But god damn it, are we fucking on point? How many years we've been I mean dude, we've been doing this shit for we've been doing the show like fucking seven years. Dominating. <laughs> oh man, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Your thoughts on the buzzsaw as my future, by the way, is very alive and well. And the fact Dude, that uh, Tennessee's right, out. all three of us are on. Yeah, there, right? yeah. Let's go, buzzsaw. Let's go. Let's go. Um, uh, 
This one was hilarious too. This should have hit. This makes up for the pit one. Cause these were happening within like three minutes. North Texas should have hit today. Oh God. Yeah. What'd you get the number at? What'd you get the number at? Five and a half. Five I got it at six. Shoot so me. I pushed you, today me. was my fucking lucky day. Uh, I pushed, but it should have hit. This thing should have hit. Um, also we double locked Ohio plus three and a half. <laughs> they lose by three. The zips, the zips came back. Oh, I was up double digits in the second half. Enrique Freeman's busted threes. Man, that was an Akron home game. That place was lit for Akron. Um, Tomorrow's going to be fun in, in Cleveland. Yeah. Man. Speaking of the home games, you got the two closest teams in proximity to Cleveland playing in that championship game. It's almost like I told you that Kent was a little bit closer to uh, Cleveland than Toledo, Mister Beanick. You did say that, but at the same time, I didn't. I didn't think that the for the well, fourth straight season well, yeah, I don't get, after winning the fucking they, league, they, they would lose in the tournament. You stay up there in the in the in the Great Lakes. Hey, I've been to Ohio. I've been to the great state of Ohio. I've been to Cleveland. <laughs> I know the Dude, land. <laughs> tell me where. Tell me where I got games wrong because I was just. I mean. I I'm, I'm a, I'm going to fucking go to Mars. I'm telling you, I'm going to be part of this fucking space program that we got down there in Houston, Texas. Cause when you forecast them like this, um, not only did we both double lock this, I played this on the money line, Oregon 67, Arizona 59. <laughs> oh man. And Dante got hurt. Well, that's, and that's a guarantee. Sorry, let me just rest in uh, peace to him. The best looking man, the best. Not and probably Dante. I'm talking about me. Long limousines, jet airplanes, custom made clothes, <laughs> and any woman in the world I want, just like that. That's the way I feel. The way I was picking fucking winners today. Um, should I give you another winner? Let's let's just deal out another winner. Grand Canyon minus the points against Seattle. Get your ozone layer bullshit out of here. All right, you gotta go to Vegas. All right, Grand Canyon. They're they, they're used to the desert. Eighty to seventy-two. What's your thoughts on this one? Who you took Grand Canyon, right? I, uh, yeah, I locked it with you, man. Yeah, I couldn't remember every. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the show was getting the show was getting late. Club yeah. brain. Dude, I did like forty fucking shows yesterday. Cocktails were flowing. Yeah. It's March and uh, dude, uh, what's Grand Canyon overall? Just out of curiosity, just in case they do lose tomorrow. Now they're going to play Arlington. Oh, they tonight. are going to lose. <laughs> I, they I are going to lose. So that if they do lose, they'd be twenty-eight and five. This would be another team that I would be more than happy to watch them again in the NIT. Fuck all these pussy SEC and Big Ten teams that just think that they're self entitled because their football programs are good, yeah. and their basketball programs blow ass. Um, yeah, I'd love to see Grand Canyon or or I, mean, even I would Arlington. still love to see them in the NCAA yeah. tournament. I would put them in over. Some I'd teams even love too. to see Arlington yeah. in there. Yeah, oh yeah, Arlington would be a perfect one if they uh, did not win. Uh, did eat shit on Providence. Took Providence in the points, dude. Down the stretch, this game was hilarious. Down the stretch. Oh, that was a horrible offensive. Did you think? Did you see that offensive foul called on Adoro? Uh yes, yes, yes. I I thought that was ticky. That was absolute bullshit. That was just because yeah. of the impact of the pick, yeah. but that's not his yeah. fault. Yeah. It's not his fault. Horrible offensive. Call. Now they still probably would have lost the game. Marquette, super impressive. And I, you know what I love about this? Marquette's going to win the Big East tournament, and. uh or even the fact they're this far, it's perfect for fading in March. I mean, the NCAA tournament that is. I hope um, not. I got that future on them. That what that, Mar- that, glitch, that glitch future I got. They did this <laughs> shit last year, though. They did this shit last year. I, I Marquette don't. Marquette like is them. not winning the Big East tournament. Uh oh. Uh oh. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix hated. I'm not saying that with strong conviction, Noah. But aren't they uh, in the championship game? Yeah. We got a we got a ball game tomorrow. <laughs> they played two about? barn burners to get to get to this position without their star point guard. Oh, okay, but they won the didn't they win the Big East last year? Am I crazy? Yeah, yeah. Not against UConn. 
No, they won. No, they? yeah, they did. They bounced yeah. her ass in the semi. What are you fucking, talking about? Said, yeah, fucking her they lady. did. Get your fucking antics out of here. Mark that's how the that's it. how the drama happened. Yeah, they said they said not in the finals. Yeah, well, oh because you, UConn started Fuck the and said, that UConn said this is our house, and then uh, Cam Jones said, "Well, I hope that they, uh, I hope they enjoyed their stay that was very short at their house because we are running the Big East now." Yeah, and we play and, tomorrow. Let's go. And uh, you know what else we uh, we do? We pick out winners. We were both on this team, money line, and with the points. And you, I think, have a future on this team. I do. The dirt bags of Long Beach State. Bring back your football program, pussies. But we were all over this. 83-79. Moneyline play against Irvine. <laughs> oh, Get up gosh, for the old I ball, mean, coach. What does Billy Hoyle say? It's hard goddamn work making something this ugly look so good. Something like that. Um Shout out to White Man Can't Jump. Not not the remake. The remake was fucking horrible. Um, but uh, I, I I never even saw the remake. I saw the preview and I was like, that's bullshit. Um, dude, Long Beach State's in the championship game. They, they, <laughs> they're gonna win it. They're definitely this, winning it. This, this, they're, they're gonna definitely. have to fire the athletic director. <laughs> you're gonna fire the. This is why you should always wait to the end of the year. You fire the coach. Always today. wait till the end of the year. You're gonna win it. <laughs> I said, oh, they're going to get up for the old ball coach. I mean, don't forget, he's the one that started Gonzaga and then handed it to Mark Few. This guy can coach. He's Now, last couple of years, it's been a little underwhelming. But, hey, yeah. the old ball coach is getting it done. He beats his best friend, Ross Turner. Um, sucks for Irvine. Irvine had another good year. They they should be in the NIT. That's where this fucking yeah. bullshit rule yeah. sucks. I'd love to 100%. see Irvine play again. That's a good team. 100%. 100%. Um, Michael's saying Colex playing tomorrow. Is that true? Um, they were talking about it. I they I said think. they said he was physically able to play today. Pre tournament, they said he would be out the entire tournament. So that did if he does play. Cool. Um, I we gave out a loser. Believe it or not, every once in a while we give out a loser. North Carolina Central. What the fuck happened here? Delaware Damn. State. I'm terrified. I have a future. So I, I took two There's futures no central and Howard. Howard now plays Delaware state. Who's running through all these high seeds. Yeah. Who is this Hornet team? <laughs> buzz, buzz, sting, sting. Um, your thoughts on this one. I was stunned. I mean, I'd like Delaware state in the preseason, but I also like Lavelle Moton this time of year. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Um, don't worry, we went back to winning. Where but where's Rob Donaldson? Is he in the chat tonight? I don't think he is. No, I don't see Rob. I need to send Rob Donaldson a fucking bottle of wine or something. Um we were doing the show last night and I asked for the Maris Fairfield line. He told me you can get three and a half with Fairfield on FanDuel. After we we said there's five. I, we quoted it at five. Well, what did I do? Loaded it up, got minus three and a half, bet, and Fairfield, which by the way, the five should have covered their fucking best fucking player missed two free throws with one and a half seconds left. Yeah. But if you got friends in high places like I do with Rob Donaldson, <laughs> Fairfield minus three and a half hits. <laughs> Uh, who the hell is Sarah Jones? <laughs> She's trolling your ass. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even care. Like, ECU sucks. Okay. You know how good of a day I'm having? You can't beat me. You can't beat me right now. She also mm. likes to pussy you back. <laughs> yeah. This uh, Marist Fairfield game felt like the MAC championship to me. Those two teams I thought were the best during the regular season all year long. Yeah, I agree. It was a fun game. Um, guess what? We also bet Texas Southern. They win by seven against Alabama and them. It got a little sweaty down the stretch. Sweaty down the stretch, but we get it done. And then uh 
I went very heavy on San Diego State. And it was early, it was looking dicey. Lede had two fouls. They win 86 to 70 against Utah State. <laughs> Woo! Um we did eat shit on oh uh, no. I think you called this right. I don't remember. I did bet Indiana and they got worked oh, by Nebraska. I did too. They yeah. fucking blow. Um they're back to sucking. Enjoy the NIT. Oh wait, you're too good for that because you won the fucking title with Bob Knight in nineteen. Yeah, that's my that's fault. Bob. If I would have known they were not going to go to the NIT, I would have never taken a team because that means you have a bunch of fucking losers everywhere on your roster in your administration. Everyone's a fucking loser, and uh, may God have mercy on your soul. Um, Florida Gators. Yeah, I did bet this. Betting everything when I when you start winning, you start betting everything. It's fantastic. <laughs> this is Alabama, Alabama bullshit. Out of here. They every stop. fucking year, dude. I am so sick of them being talked about. Yeah. New rule. Unless they go, unless they go to the Final Four or Elite Eight or something this year, we should never put them in the top twenty-five in in the regular season. As long yeah. as Nate Oates is, there, they never belong in the top twenty-five until they prove it to us. Uh, Florida fucks them up for the, which they, they Florida should have swept them this year. Should it should have been the third three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice win for the Gators as they the blow out Alabama. They, they play that fucking analytics ball where they just shoot a bunch of yeah. fucking threes. And uh, Chad G makes a good point, dude. Real back to Nebraska. How about Tom and Naga tonight? Oh my god, dude, making guy. like fucking 50 footers, dude. America, America's about to fall in love with this guy. Like yeah. the casual oh, TMZ fan yeah. does not yeah. know that we everybody freaking was busting my chops for Lynn Sanity. I guarantee they're gonna be comparing him to Lynn Sanity, and you heard it here first. I was in last year. Let's go, Tominaga. Nebraska. One of the luckiest I was, I was gonna say, like, he's probably this year's Marquise Noel. Dude, I was just about to say this. Do you remember last year? I was doing like a Boston yes. radio show. Patriot they, Sports yeah. Radio. Oh, yeah. yeah We've yeah, talked yeah. about this multiple times. They the fucking show. hot potatoed <laughs> me in like mid January. They're like, who's the, the player America's going to fall in love with in March? And I'm just like, I mean, they didn't prep me with that question. So I was just like, uh, uh, Marquise Noel, he's a fucking dog. Boom. Tominaga is our, is our, I know this is in March, but I mean, I think Tominaga is a guy. Yeah. Um, Maybe. And if Shout he out. is the guy, we got to get him to the second weekend, baby. Oh, Shout yeah. out to Patriot, Patriot Sports, Patriot League, basketball, everyone, George Mason, Patriots, whatever. What, what, do you remember the name of the podcast? I want to plug it correctly. Patriot Sports Radio. Oh, Patriot Sports Radio. My bad. Because I, uh, I have no it's memory. It's our guy, D. Generic, correct? Uh, yeah, he's the fucking man. Yeah. Uh, uh, shout out to Mob Rules tipping us five bucks. Uh, he's, he's saying, can I get you all to agree that Khalil Ware is totally useless? I've only been saying that since the preseason. <laughs> like, Who's that, your fan since my... Damon Bailey? See, Damon Bailey. Let's talk about this mob rules. Would Damon Bailey duck the NIT? I don't think he would. No. no. And I don't I don't think any of those guys would. Calbert Cheney, Alan Henderson. I've never heard this duck the NIT bullshit yeah. since Carolina did it last year. Yeah. Carolina started that shit. Yeah. Because they sucked. Yeah. Um, yeah, Clark's right too. I didn't, I didn't notice that he put Damian Bailey, Damon Bailey. Yes. It's Damian Bailey. He was Mr. Indiana basketball. If memory serves me correct in high school. Um, yeah. Michael Barber knows for sure that he would fucking play. Let's go next up. Uh, next up. Yeah. That game. Okay. Then, uh, let's talk about your lock battle win. Cause you are so full of Shit. A banked in three. The pussy pack. The pussy pack bank in a three. Not only was it a bank, it was a bank with a little bit of a toilet bowl on the top. <laughs> right? <laughs> and just the absolute <laughs> luckiest. And, and guess how that happened? I was talking about this with the uh, CBB Nick, Nick Famalot. Shout out to Nick Famalot. Cause he, he disagreed with me for a little bit there. I think I might've made my point. I was like, man, if Virginia would have made free throws this year, you could call me crazy, but they would have been like 28 and four. If they could make free throws, <laughs> they have lost so many games on free throws. Now I don't think Virginia is any good, 
but this is a oh, testament to Tony Bennett. But normally his teams shoot the free throw a little bit better. They miss a free throw. The pussy pack grab the ball, go way down the court, and uh, bank in a three. Onions, dude. That was bullshit. Absolute <laughs> bullshit. They're gonna they're gonna beat Carolina. No, well. Carolina's gonna, gonna win by thirty. <laughs> Carolina's gonna reestablish. No, baby. Kevin Keats is gonna get in, and well, I mean, there, there is a, a there is a, a silver lining to this. They're gonna extend the fuck yeah. out of Kevin Keats. Build a statue. Here we go. Kevin Keats and the Wolfpack got a chance <laughs> tomorrow night. <laughs> hey, have fun with it, NC State. Uh, but I was spot on with my handicap. This this is a horrible beat. I was spot on <laughs> with my fucking handicap. I had UVA minus two and a half. <laughs> so if he just misses that shot, I'm in. But it's okay. We had a we had a dominant day today. ECU loses the pussy pack win. But guess what? You're still the bitches that duck us on the schedule. And you gotta live with that. Every day you wake up, you gotta grab your pussy pack because you won't put us on your fucking schedule. All right. Could or will that be the last game we see Tony Bennett coach at Virginia in a meaningful game? In terms of regular season or NCAA tournament, you ready for a hot take? Do they make the NCAA tournament? Yes, this is the first they question. do. They do. They go to Dayton. I probably yep. agree with you. Actually, I don't agree. Yeah. I don't think they should personally. Yeah, but do I think they will put them in? I think they'll put them in. I don't think. Actually, the more I think about, I don't think they're going to put them in because well, they hate their brand the of basketball. Wins they hate too. their brand of basketball. I they just won the national championship. Like what three? four national championships ago. And all they did was bitch about it, but they were a one seat. So you couldn't do anything about it. Sounds a whole yeah. lot like Purdue. No, per, 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 Purdue, Purdue, trying to do this. Purdue still has trying talent. To do this. <laughs> he's still trying to fucking do this. I, so um, I jumped in here to talk about, so America is latching on the DJ Burns, uh, the big man for NC state. Let's I love him at uh, four straight games. I Holy loved him shit, at uh, where did he transfer from again? I loved him at Winthrop. where was he playing? Winthrop. Yeah, Winthrop. 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 That's right. I was about to say Bucknell for some reason. Uh, I always get those two confused, but um, he, might, he might roll over and overheat tomorrow after playing his fourth game in four days. Dude, I gotta be honest. I hate the pussy pack, but I, I, I I've always enjoyed his game. I've always enjoyed his game. I, I Mac- like <laughs> what? Yeah. Mac and I were talking about it pre-show. Last year's NC State team was so much better than this one. Oh, this team <laughs> sucked. Hey, and the chat's confused. We're not saying Tony Bennett's going to get fired. We're saying Tony Bennett's going to retire. He's gonna leave. Yeah. Yeah. What, so when, when Ron Sanchez NIL, he's done. When Ron Sanchez left Charlotte right before the season, like I think yeah. it was like in August or July. I think it was August because it was late. Maybe even September. Ron Sanchez left. First Charlotte. off, he was an assistant under Bennett before. Previously, an assistant. Yeah. He leaves Charlotte, which we thought might have been his best team, to go to Virginia as they an won assistant. The, I thought they won the CBI or the NIT. Yeah, yeah, went. last year. I think it was CBI, right? Yeah. CBI, right? Yeah. Um, we thought that was weird because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you come back, especially that late in the year, unless We're there was a guarantee? Yeah, unless there was a guarantee that you're going to pass the torch at the end of the year. That was the only thing that made sense to me. We'll see if that comes true, but uh, that the was my logic. Jay Wright. Yeah. The next year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Every, Jay Wright was young. Jay, like you can, you can still be in battle. I mean, look what we're doing. I mean, well, they, and they lost, they lost a bunch. I mean, look, yeah. uh, uh, Sh- Shedrick's at Texas. The, the one kid for NC state Marcel. he was a yeah. UVA transfer. Yeah. They, they, they get hit in the portal. So someone else too. Someone else is, is Creighton? Does Creighton have a, a UVA player? There's a few. Um, I just there's a Shred- few that, that he was a rotational out. player. That yeah, there. But that was some of their highest recruits. Yeah, that was some of their highest. Abdul Rahim was one too, who went to what Georgia Tech? I think he's on Georgia, Georgia Tech, Tech now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think he'll be on TV next year. I think he'll be really good on TV. Yeah, yeah. I think he's done, I think he's done with this new bullshit. Yeah, it's just. It's, and it's fair. I mean, yeah, he won a national title. He's got closure, and he can he can do his own deal. I, I think he's but, done with. But it. you you want to make a wager? I don't think he'll turn down the NIT. No, I don't either. No, he's got yeah. enough pride. I actually think 
if they go to the NIT, I think he'll announce that it's his last game to get like the fans there. Yeah. yeah. And I think it'll be like a, a little send off for him. Like, Hey, let's win one for Tony on the way out. Yeah. And they'll embrace the NIT. UVA would be a team that will embrace the NIT. I think as they should, as every school should. Every um, sh- yeah. I went Mark- and looked, I think the guy that we're talking about is, uh, I tried to pull it up on Creighton. I'm not 100 percent was Creighton, but there was a few players that transferred out over the past two years, and some of them were his highest recruits. Some of the ones Patty sees a UVA fan, so like all all off season, when after they won the national championship, he's talking to me. Hey, we got the number 13 recruit coming in. We got the number 64 recruit coming in, right? So that shit, I, I pay more attention to that just because I hear it nonstop when he's fucking drunk. Right, which is all the time, right? <laughs> so, my point is, I'm I'm more schooled than most teams here. I mean, I, I feel like I know college basketball pretty fucking well, but specifically UVA, I know that a bunch of their guys that you know we thought this national championship was going to pay off to getting all these great players. Those great players all dipped out, and I mean, I guess none of them have proven to be truly great, but they're all solid players elsewhere. And I think that if you put them on UVA this year, probably. They probably win the ACC. I'd argue this is his best coaching job by like, far. I, I by think he, far, and by including far. he went thirty-one and two. This team is horrible. National championship. Don't, fuck those teams. Those teams have yeah. pros. This team sucks. They can't yeah. even make a free throw, like you said. Like and I said, they dude, still guard their this is how good off. Tony Bennett yes. is. If they shot just a little bit yeah. better from the free throw line, yeah, they'd be twenty-eight and four with the worst. The worst yes. team he's at he's at UVA at least since yeah. like year two or three. I agree. Unbelievable. Um, all right, I enough talking him, about. Dude, I, I watched him against West Virginia with six players. West Virginia, it was like these two teams are even, and we had six <laughs> players. I'm like, God damn, Virginia's really bad this year. What's well, the system? And the system. It, the it, system it wins. The system 50. won a national <laughs> championship. Yeah. Yes. But they had a couple of pros who make a couple shots when they needed it, get a couple calls. Um, but yeah, this, I, in my opinion, I'm with you, man, for Bennett to have this team even close is unbelievable. Yeah. And Clark has saw. it here. It's, it's Isaac trout who transferred out of Virginia. He didn't play with the, the who's last year. And he's a red shirt freshman with the blue Jays this year. I was right with Creighton though. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's all lost up here. See, you gotta, if you were to take a, a, a thing through my, you know, my brain, you would see like random Football, basketball knowledge, a couple jokes. Um, you know, uh, just you'd run into smearing off and, you know, other shit, but it's there. It's all there. All right. Um, we both double locked Iowa State against Baylor. <laughs> Fuck it. It's a free show. It's a free show. Never a game. Fucking jackass. I love it. How good can you be? <laughs> well, how good can we be? We can be even better because Temple, money line. Oh, against Charlotte. God damn it, we're genius. You ready for the way to end this? You guys aren't ready. Oh, did I bet Colorado against Washington State? Oh, yep. double lock. Oh, yeah. Yes, we did. Yep. Yep. 58-52. The Buffs get it done against Washington State. <laughs> uh, oh wait, wait! Uh, UC Davis against Hawaii. Now they almost pissed this away, but UC Davis. I even got the worst of the number. I had it at two and a half. But UC Davis still cashes against the island. No oh, wait, is that not, not enough? Not enough. UT Arlington plus the points. UT Arlington money line. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. They're my biggest bet right here. New Mexico. Lobo. 74. I, I bet this, this too. Yes. I love this. Colorado game. State 61. I mean, watch come out in here. March. You come in here talking all this shit. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Let me just add this. Hmm. Mm hmm. You just make sure because, uh, yeah, Colorado. Uh huh. While you're adding UC it up, Davis. by the way, uh, 
Everybody in the crowd that says it's the Mountain West isn't that good, go watch New Mexico. They finished six in that league. Are you fucking kidding me? Those guards? Woo! Woo! House, Mashburn, Dent. I mean, my God. They got freaking dudes. And, and just, Colorado State was a seven seed? Yeah. Uh, just adding this up here. So, uh, 23 and eight ATS. 23 and eight. And money line plays on UTEP, Texas A&M, Oregon, and Temple. Fuck off. Never want to hear anyone fucking talk shit ever again. Uh, yeah, I Carolina do. Yeah, lost. I do. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, I do. I, yeah, exactly. I, I do want to hear the shit talking because you don't understand. It's like the gasoline for the engine. You need the shit talking. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Look, I mean, game balls. Who's your top game ball? Who should we give it to? I'll go right back to what I did last night. The Lobos. They won last night and they tried to say they were still in the bubble. They beat Boise. Oh, hold on. They let's beat... talk about that. Let's talk about that. Like, get the fuck out of Dude, here. This there is a is. vendetta. This is what I'm talking about. Pay attention. I, I really. How do I use my words better to describe this? Talk because you see in Big Ten, yeah, this is what I'm talking I about. Know what you're saying, this is 100% what I'm talking about, and it's gonna, I think it's gonna start creeping into the ACC and Big 12 as the separation continues to develop. Yeah. yeah, but they said if New Mexico wins, they're in against Boise, against Boise, yeah. they won, and the, the next day, day I wake up, and this is why I don't trust any of their numbers. This is why I don't believe in any of their net rankings, any algorithm. Like I don't buy in. I don't buy into any of that shit because it doesn't make any fucking sense. This is some bullshit to push the fuck. And and the fact that they still have, uh, I was on the the Veasan tonight sports gambling podcast, and they brought up the Ken Palm how the Mountain West is a six rated conference. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what there's what there's more? There. Like that tells me that 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 was via Ken Palm. Well, guess what? I have no interest in checking out Ken Paul because that doesn't make any sense. My eyes, we watch games all year, every single night. Do we not watch games? Do we not record on this show, fucking show talking about it? That is bullshit to me. And that's why I never trust the numbers. I will never trust the fucking numbers because they're skewed. They're skewed against mid majors. And even worse, we've never been in a situation like this. In my opinion, I know the Valley had some great years when they had Creighton. Loyola, Chicago, Wichita, way back in the day. We never had a situation where a group of five is drastically better. Or not a group of five, a mid-major, because it's not football, is drastically better than a power five conference. Multiple. And it's happened. Yes. Multiple. Pac-12, Big Ten, and I think you can make the fucking argument that it's better than the SEC. I'm okay if you're on the SEC side because I think it's close. But specifically, the Big Ten and Pac-12, it ACC. is way better than and ACC. I'm sorry, I yeah, forgot ACC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, it is specifically like I would argue that all fucking day, and it's the first time. And it tells me the numbers are skewed. This is I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this because I, I, I would always say, man, I hope a, I hope a mid major gets really good because I want to test these numbers because I don't know that these numbers, you know, I still don't know these numbers, but I just know that it's bullshit. You can't tell me one thing and then and have it happen. And then you, you re reset them to where they were before. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. It's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Your thoughts, Mac. I agree with you. You know, I agree with you. Um, I think the mountain West is the third best league in America. The big 12 is number one. And then you go big East. And then you go Mountain West. Noah is coming in here with a different perspective, I assume. I'm using rational thoughts, in my opinion. Okay. You have in to your take the... in your in your opinion. <laughs> Let's highlight, can we circle that? Is fucking Sankey fucking paying you off? What's your opinion, Noah? Colby's ranting about the media saying that in Mac, because Mac said it first on the show that New Mexico won a must-win game for them to get in the NCAA tournament yesterday. 
and they needed to win again today. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Just continue to win fucking games. Because okay. there might be three bid stealers tomorrow. That's fair, eight, but they ten, don't know that. They ACC, don't know those outcomes. They don't know those fucking outcomes. So you can't That's tell me. You can't tell me that they're they, not that the they're not all the way in that right now to get attention. No, they use that to get attention. I, if there's three, if three is borderline an entire seed line that gets pushed out of the NCAA dude, tournament. Dude, they put that shit there today, and they put Texas A and M, who did not play. This is why I, you're full of shit. Texas A and M didn't even play from the night. I mean, from we saw the night before, and the next day, the New Mexico and and A and M had not played yet. It was during one of the day games, and they put this up, and A and M had moved spots, and I'm like, wait a second here. So you who, don't did value- who did A and M beat two nights ago? Who was it again? It was uh. It was not Arkansas, Arkansas, not Vandy. No, 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 no. It was no. uh Ole Miss, Ole Miss. Ole Miss. That so I I guess they're valuing the but I thought it was done the no, night before. Because the net takes heavily accounts for the opponents that your opponents play as well. It's not just what a specific team does that moves the needle, especially this time of year when everybody's watching every little adjustment that is made. Other games that are played by other opponents of your opponents matter to that. Most of the teams aren't playing, though, buddy. We're down to like 30 games. I, what are we talking so, about here? Detroit Mercy, who played Ole Miss, is not so playing 30, anymore. 30 games is 60 teams, correct? There yes. are 68 teams in the NCAA tournament. We're yes, talking but, about roughly no. 40 at larges. Yes. So, yes, yes, you're right. I'm what you're talking about. Thoughts. No, no, but you're not right with what I'm trying to say. When you put that up at night, at a, at, 9 p.m. Eastern, right? The On CBS Sports Network. Oh my God. You got a fucking answer for everything. They up so they Am so they're you're telling me you're what you're telling me to do on this show. That's kind of my job. No, but <laughs> I but I'm saying that for you. What so why would they not say we'll see what the nub, the net updates to in the morning then? Because they don't have much time on the media if you're watching these shows. Out inside college basketball. Yeah, and they're in they an hour. Out and- they have a fucking hour to sit there and decide what is what. They have producers, multiple I'm producers who don't fall asleep on the fucking show. All right. <laughs> By the way, Gary Palm's like the twenty seventh guy I'll go to for advice on bracketology. I I don't give a shit about who you to who's twenty seventh, and I don't give a shit about your bracketology. You're ranking, talking about right? him like he's yeah. gospel. He's not. I'm not, I'm saying the whole system is nonsense. The whole system is bullshit. When I say, it's, it's, hold on, whole systems, I don't trust any of them. I, I don't trust wait. any of them. I can't wait till the Mountain West gets like three teams in the Sweet 16. They'd be like, oh, oh, well, they, they got good draws this year. It, it, because I'm telling you, there used to be the same fucking narrative about the Big 12 where it was, oh, they get all these teams in the tournament, but they choke. And that was an error about the fucking Mountain West. And then they went to the national championship last year. San Diego State fucking broke that thing down. They're going to start breaking it down. You get enough cracks at this fucking thing. Yeah. The Mountain West is going to fucking start advancing and advancing and advancing. And they got good teams, good coaches, good fan bases. I've seen it in the Big 12. I see a lot of what I saw in the Big 12 10 years ago in the Mountain West. And I I love it. I love this fucking thing. And they it, deserve it, it doesn't take at least look, it, it's the age old thing. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Your eyes never lie to you. Yeah. You watch yes. these fucking games and you know, they're better. There's no disputing. I'm a Colorado fan. I hope Colorado goes undefeated. I watch the PAC 12 every time Colorado plays. I try to guess what? They're not nearly as good as the mountain West has been this year. The PAC 12 was not even close. You can't even argue it, in my opinion. This is, this is all bullshit. This is all bullshit. There's like gotta be a behind and there's a, a clear conflict of fucking interest. There's a clear conflict of interest they got because a with the ratings, if the TV execs are employing the, the fucking guys that do it, guess what? There's a clear conflict of interest. Get the fuck out of here, man. It doesn't make any sense. You can't say 
that at night, at, that was when all the games were fucking done. You said, Hey, New Mexico's in with this one. They won the game. They're in with this one. And then you wake up in the morning. And you're like, wait, New Mexico hasn't played. Texas AM hasn't played. And it was like noon. So like what? Maybe a couple of games went final, but a and has jumped. Get the fuck out of here. It's all bullshit. This is like a fucking election. It's like a, this is like a fucking, this is like a, a, an election in Haiti. You know what I mean? Like it's just completely bullshit or in the U S um, yeah. Or the U S um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anywhere, anywhere, you know, my point anyway, um, real quick though, to, to put a bow on this. I mean, in the big 12 grand scheme of things, we had a coach that, that got fired. I mean, we talked about it. Mike Boyne was probably going to be out. They beat Oklahoma three times when they had Trey young, they had the same record. Same conference record, and Oklahoma went to the tournament. And fucking Oklahoma State did it. And everybody's like, "Well, Mike Boyne's only been in the tournament so many years." Well, that's because there was favoritism shows towards fucking specific individuals, specific programs. Uh, they got fucked last year. They should have been in the tournament over one of those two ACC schools, Pitt and fucking NC State. And he should have had three of them. He I disagree fucked. with that. I'll oh, get out of here. Get out of here, you <laughs> fucking hack. Um, they, dude, it's fucking bullshit. I mean, dude, hold on, hold on, it hold costs on. people jobs. It costs Let, let's people talk jobs. about this. Let's talk about this. College basketball making the NCAA tournament is worth millions of dollars. Millions yes. of dollars. Yes. You know what's worth even more? College football. Yep. College football has been the most crooked fucking, and I love college football. The games, I love it. But if you can't see the college athletics tied in to TV, TV ratings, and the history, the whole history of the fucking sport, and you don't think that affects basketball? Get the fuck out of here, Noah. Get if you think that's a straight, if you think the numbers are straight, you are living in a different world than me, brother. You are living in a different world than me because you're they putting are, words into my mouth. I never said that the numbers are straight and that I believe in the net and whatever, one hundred percent. I'm just saying that's a tool that the committee is using. I'm giving you the answer to what's going to happen or my best guess. Oh, I know New Mexico. Happen. I know so the mid major will get filling fucked. the messenger here. I'm just trying yeah. to interpret it and feed it to you and the listeners of the show. Buddy, we appreciate you. Go back to sleep. All right. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> all right. Where the fuck game balls. All right. Uh, where are you going? I think we well, I think we started here. Let's run it back because I said this last night. Uh, whatever the fucking rewind music is, I'm gonna give a game ball to New Mexico because they're going dancing again for the second straight night. They're what are they gonna the do when game. I wake up tomorrow? <laughs> oh, they gotta beat San Diego. Well, Oregon, State. Oregon. If they win, New <laughs> yeah. Mexico can't get in. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll give out the fucking Lobos. Let's go, Patino. I'm happy for Richard Patino. It's it's not easy being a fucking coach, son. I mean, you got your fucking dad who's a psycho, a legend. Good for Patino and the fucking every uh, he's fucking every waitress in yeah. America. You know Probably what I mean? Fucking somebody in Albuquerque <laughs> for all we know. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you, he has no idea. Not easy having to answer for your father. Um, you know, he was... called his ass after that Air Force game. And said, "What the fuck are you doing down there?" Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, top game ball to me. Um, a and M, yeah. The buzzsaw, the buzzsaw is doing shit. What's your second game ball? Um, UNC. Just kidding. Um, uh, for my <laughs> second game ball, dude, I, I gotta go NC State. I mean, four games in four nights. I mean, what the fuck is going on? They're playing for a title. What a better way than to beat North Carolina tomorrow? Shades of fucking Jimmy Valvano, baby. Yeah, yeah. I mean. You hate Dude, it. that game was insane. No, I mean, look. I mean, I hated losing the. It made it worse because I bet on it. Yeah, but they're losing by thirty tomorrow. Let's go. <laughs> I can already tell you, lock number one. All right. Um, Battle. Uh, second game ball will go to UTEP. Oh my god, we're fucking geniuses. Tink, tink, tink. Unbelievable. There, do I, I was like watching that. Maybe at like the thirty or forty point mark, and I was like, "Man, they're down eleven. I don't know if they could score enough to like, because UTEP's like UVA in a way. Like, when you get down double digits, you're like, I don't know that they can come back. You know what I mean? Like, 
Uh, shout out to the miners getting it done. Where are you going uh, for your third game ball? Hail State. Oh, my God. Wire to wire, beat down of a, well, wannabe one C. They're not a one C because of that performance. Uh, Fade Rick Barnes, I guess, is back. And Hail State, Chris Jans, well fucking done. Great win. Yeah. Uh, that is an unbelievable, unbelievable win. Um, UT Arlington, you're down 10 points at what, five minute mark? Yeah. Six minute mark? Win the game? <laughs> Absolutely love it. Love it. Um, all right. Want to tell you, geez, we're already an hour 40 in just like that. Talking shit. Want to tell you the college basketball experience is brought to you by manscape. We top of the morning to you. This episode is brought to you by uh St. Patrick's day. Shamrock shavers. Uh, this year, don't just chase rainbows, make your own pot of gold and groom your little leprechaun with the leaders and below the kilt care. Say goodbye to your clover forest with manscape lawnmower 5.0 ultra and let your confidence shine bright. Embrace the luck of the Irish and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com. Use that promo code SGPN for 20% off plus free shipping. Ever since I've uh, manscaped, I have found my bowl of lucky charms. All right. Uh, so what are you doing? Meet your uh, new lucky charm for, uh, for St. Patrick's day, the lawnmower 5.0 ultra. This trimmer comes with two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads. One for the old classic trim two, the new foil blade to go smooth, wherever your heart desires. Maybe you're in Cabo <laughs> and you're having a great old time following our bets, just winning a bunch of cash and decide to shave your girl's ass. All right. And who knows? Um, I mean, hopefully you don't have to do that, but I mean, you never, I don't know. You're in Cabo. You're having margaritas, cocktails. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, look, point is this thing goes everywhere and get this power goes out. Got a little quake. Don't worry about it. You got led spotlights. It's going to be fantastic. All right. Navigate your shamrock patch in peace. Yours, hers, his doesn't matter. Right. Uh, worried you'll make a mess. Fear not. Doesn't matter. This thing is waterproof. You could be jet skiing with this shit. You could be shaving her ass on a jet ski. All right. You're going to be fine. All right. Uh, <laughs> 100% get 20% off uh, that 100% with free shipping with the promo code SGP at manscape.com. That's 20% off with free shipping with the promo code SGP at manscape.com. This is St. Patrick's day. Make sure your little hairy leprechaun is luckier than ever with manscape. We're also brought to you by champs. Champs is hosting a free March madness bracket contest for a chance to win a thousand dollars. Plus if uh, you host your own March madness pool on champs, you'll get an extra entry into that thousand dollar contest. Tiebreakers are determined by who enters first though. So quit being a lazy piece of shit. Head on over to sports gambling podcast.com slash champs. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash champs. We're also brought to you by hall of fame bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NBA season with hall of fame bets, the sports betting analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NBA and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame bets to craft more intelligent, data-driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching. Start winning with Hall of Fame bets. We are back. On the college basketball experience. What do you think Manscaped thinks when they hear us read their ads? Well, it's a good point. I don't know. But I've read their ads for like five or six years, I feel like. Yeah. It, uh, what's hilarious, <laughs> my wife is probably sitting there saying, How many lawnmowers can I have? Uh, I mean, this is a lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. I've got like, tw- I got like 10 of these fucking things. It's fat. I don't know. I need to do like a, uh, I need to be creative with all these lawnmowers that I have. And, and, and the one thing is I don't have a real lawnmower, but uh, I don't know. I just got to, I got to figure something. I got to do something with the, all these lawnmowers. There it you go. Look. Pretty good product, man. I no, it's fucking fire. It's fire. it's fire. It's fire. Get on over to puppy. Manscaped. Look at this puppy. Yeah. That thing, that thing is, is look at that. It, it's, oh, a, yeah. it's, you let that shit charge. You're good. All right. The zombies come. You're good. Um, nice and clean. I like, 
<laughs> well done, Manscaped. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Um, so we got games tomorrow. It's not that many. So this episode's almost over. That's why we're talking Manscaped. In yeah. The, in Should the, I do the, another sharp, sharp cuts? Sharp cuts. <laughs> Pick and roll. Yeah. How do you <laughs> feel about uh, topsoil? You think that's a good thing? You think topsoil? That's why the recap went an hour and forty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I gotta gotta read the ads. Got so it was funny. Some jackass was uh, saying in the YouTube. He was like, "They never listen to us. We leave comments that they shouldn't <laughs> recap for an hour and a half." But Dundee you- doesn't give a fuck about you, and that's why he'll always have four hundred views on his. On his videos, a you you are one thousand percent correct, and I do not give a fuck about you. <laughs> B, we do way more than a thousand on downloads, and motherfucker, that pays the bills. This is we did this shit before YouTube. We weren't even on YouTube the first fucking five years. <laughs> Who cares? This is just a free. This is a fucking. Uh, this is when you're going to Costco and you get the free little sample. This is what that is. All right. You can lick my balls. No- yeah, right. YouTube's paying for Noah's prostitutes, all right? <laughs> um, this fucking guy. Hey, there's Rob Donaldson. There's Rob Donaldson. I owe that guy a nice bottle of uh, a wine. I don't know. The, do you think Rob Donaldson drinks wine, guys? He's, no, he's an Iowan. Get him yeah. a case of bush light. Yeah, it's, uh, there. <laughs> yeah, get, him, get him a bottle of bourbon and get him a case yeah. of bush light. He ain't drinking no wine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think Rob. Uh, I need to, to. I I think I owe Rob. Uh, Unless he's got a date, he might have a date that night, and then maybe a want, maybe a bottle of wine <laughs> be beneficial. But <laughs> get over. I like Man's biggest <laughs> biggest scumbag says shoot me over a lawnmower five My wife has a bush that would scare the the beard off of Moses. Wow. Hey, you know they did it for a long time. That's one of the things that is most that. I do agree with the the youth movement because when I think about, when I think about back in the day, now I understand like opportunity is opportunity. You got to take advantage. You got to battle obstacles, but fuck man, you go watch some shit. Go watch that first Debbie does Dallas in like the seventies. It's uh, I mean, look, I'm not saying they were in the wrong, but God damn it. Those are some obstacles. (laughs) Those are some obstacles. I mean, world. I mean, kudos to Colby for thinking back to those days. I've never really done that myself, but I think he's right on this one. (laughs) Yeah, this is like in some cases, the world gets a lot better. The Seahawks used to play in the kingdom. That was a horrible fucking stadium. Now they play outdoors like a proper football team. All right. Um, uh, The earth does some things right as we evolve, but majority. Ah, there's yeah, I would say some things are right, some things are wrong. I think it's kind of actually 50 50. I don't want to say majority. There's this whole there's this whole other thing we could we could talk about, but yeah, I mean uh that's uh Debbie Does Dallas, the original. Great, great soundtrack. Um Brown. The Brown guys catching ten Brown and a half. Qualified. Unbelievable. They won six straight, including Yale and Cornell, who are higher seeds than them. Um, give me the points. They're hot right now. Actually, I'm terrified that they had a week off. Stupid Ivy League. <laughs> I, I, I almost feel like we should actually maybe take Princeton because when you're that hot, play a night in night. Actually, they were never really playing night in night out, though. All right, let's take Brown. Let's take Brown. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Brown, I, th- too many points, and you know what, man? Princeton's got the target on their back. They won the league last year. They went to the Sweet Sixteen. Brown guys, Brown guys, is off. Let's go. I'll, just, I'll just have you guys know <laughs> we're betting every fucking game tomorrow. Oh, you know? Yeah, my just account is music. Brown. my account is so up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that I we only have a limited amount of games, right? I might like bet 20. on some goddamn. I don't know. Korean soccer marbles. Yeah. Um, this is one of my bigger wagers of the day. I was going down a rabbit hole in Vermont getting oh. prepped for the VEASAN episode. You know, Lowell's only went out Vermont uh, once in 15 years. Yep. And that was in 2015. Hmm. The line is seven and a half, but I wouldn't be doing my job after what Rob Donaldson did to me. 
you can find a lower number out there. Um, either way, I'll take the seven and a half lock. I'm gonna win by twenty. What are you doing here? And just to confirm, you laid it right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I thought you said you took it. Um, to think about it too. They have not covered in either of the semis or quarterfinal game. They've kind of been asleep at the wheel. Like Colgate, they're going to fuck up Lowell. If we miss on that one, we're not missing on this one. Come on, yeah. blow out. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Lay that shit all day. Lay the fuck out of this number. Catamounts, you're going to be up there in Burlington with your $20 hot chocolates and your goddamn Coke factories. All right, sipping there, having your fucking maple pancakes. Sounds amazing, actually. Um, just just start your football program. Um, they're the only state, continental state, uh, only state outside of uh, Alaska that does not have a state football school or football really? team. I didn't yeah. know that. That's why they're the worst. That's why I can't hate them. I mean, I can't like them. I can't talk, but I can't like them. Cloud brain. Yeah. Cloud brain coming in strong. Uh, St. Joe's is getting two and a half against VCU. Do they complete the Richmond sweep? I'm with it. Let's go. They almost won at Richmond. They almost won at VCU. They beat Richmond here in the tourney. I think St. Joe's going to get it done and shock the world. Let's go. St. Joe's. Double lock. Fly with the Hawks. Fly. Fly. Shout out to our king. Says y'all are spitting straight fire right now. The Lobo should be a lock. Lenardi's a tool. Love the show. He is a, he is a tool. Oh, he's a fucking jacket. He, he likes uh, St. Joe's though. How can ESPN be happy with their product when they deliver that guy? Well, and his face just, he just, where I see it. And it's like, I just, I can't take it serious. I can't take it serious. Fucking go for a walk or something. That was like the guy. You just that's the guy that just you never liked in school. You know what I mean? You just know you're just like this is you never whooped his ass because you knew you could, <laughs> but you also didn't like him because he'd remind the teacher about the homework and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just didn't like him. You just didn't like him. I like um him. I don't like him. I've never like met him in my life. He might be nice to me too, but I'm just saying like when I see him come on TV, I cringe. I just go, Oh God. And I don't believe his numbers. And I think he's bought and sold. Probably. Maybe. I think he's bought and sold. Um, Wisconsin is catching six and a half against Purdue. Oh. Does it come crashing down here for Wisconsin? Is this the Purdue spot? They just played with Wisconsin, played with their give me, food. Give me Purdue. Uh, give me Purdue. I'll lay it too. I'm going to lay it with yeah. those fucking pussies. Uh, Throw all that shit, Noah Beanick. We were talking. The fouls. Zach Eaton's oh, going to shoot 75 free throws tomorrow. Yeah. And Purdue wins. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, Mississippi State's getting seven and a half against Auburn. Give me them Bulldogs plus seven and a half. So what? They just played a couple weeks ago. That game was in Auburn. Uh, I thought Hale State, I mean, Hale State gave them a fucking running start. They went down 15, nothing. Give me Hale State here, man. I'm with you. I I, I think Hale State keeps it close. Hale State. Let's go. Rest in peace to my friend, Mike Leach. Yeah. Hale State. Drag it in the mud. Do you have the line on Delaware State Howard? Is that out there in the wild yet? Two. Howard minus two. Yeah. This is terrifying for me. I have a Howard future. Delaware <laughs> this, this, this Delaware State team's fucking up everybody. I know. I, I kind of feel like you're right. Do I hedge? No. Fuck you. Lock Howard minus two. Let's go. I am terrified of this one. What are you doing here? Battle. Give me Delaware State. Let's go. Oh Delaware State's going to get it done. They're going to shock the world. He's what is no? called a born loser. 
a real <laughs> monster. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got I've shit. been talking Look. this team up all year. You've been calling me crazy. They're better than the record. And now they're one win away from March. They can be better than their record all day, but tomorrow they lose like the little bitches they are. I've been to Delaware, all right? But you're no Boy. fucking. I do like your no uh, sales tax. Do appreciate that. But the problem is, is the rest of your state is just empty and boring, and dull, just like uh, your pick. Uh, wh- what's up, Noah? I'm double locking this with Mac. Give me Delaware State. <laughs> every oh, every yeah. year there's every year there's one. In a super rare like year, there's it. two below 500 teams that make it to the dance. Welcome to the NCAA tournament. Delaware State Hornets. I just don't think Howard's as good as they were last year. I really don't. And I think oh, that's what this price is in- indicating. I mean, I think <laughs> Dundee with Howard representing Washington, D.C. The clowns are over there with Delaware State. 100 billion, zillion, zillion. <laughs> we're also talking here. about. Delaware State took two losses to Howard in the season. It's hard to beat that team three times. They're ready. They're ready. Not in the MIAC. That <laughs> doesn't that, that doesn't apply in the MIAC. Um exhibit exhibit exhi- Morgan State, North Carolina Central. Um uh Yale is laying one and a half against Cornell. Lock. Well, all these are locks, but you know what I mean. Yale minus one and a half. Better defense wins. Let's go. What are you doing here? Oh hell yeah, yeah. Yale's Yale's gonna Yale's a better team. Lock it up. Cornell's been a little bit overachieving. Yale all day. Them dogs. UAB is catching three and a half there in Dallas, Texas, or Fort Worth, wherever the fuck. Somewhere in Texas, where no dude. They got to get that tournament out of there. It's <laughs> it was, awful, dude. There were six people there today. Oh. Fucking atrocious! It's just why? Why? Why do they? What's the logic? Like just because they have what UTSA and uh, North Texas in that conference? Like I, I understand no it in football because Texas is like a football state, even though they don't do it in football. But I'm saying, why not play that where college basketball is king? Like say Charlotte, North Carolina. Like say Raleigh, North Carolina. Like say, uh, who else is in their conference that would apply to it? Tampa. I mean, yeah, I even think New Orleans would bring in more because you just get the yeah. drunken crowd. You know, you're actually playing it in the worst possible location. Even San Antonio makes like there's more of the Riverwalk drinking scene than like you're playing it in the worst possible location. I think they should maybe play Tulsa. It, they should play it in the old uh, what's it called uh, where they used to play the OVC. Right there in Nashville. Oh, where was that? Though? That was like Tennessee State Stadium. Uh, no, it wasn't Tennessee State, but it was. It was. It's an older arena, but it's it, it seats like five, six thousand people, and they would jam that fucking thing in, and yeah. people get Just, drunk in Nashville and then come in. And it'd be a rowdy crowd. Not this what, fucking shit. What Dallas. made them choose Fort Worth? Oh, I want to. I want a thirty for thirty on why they choose. For- Fort Worth. Actually, don't uh, one of the mini thirty for thirties. So I'm going to lose interest after a little bit. But um, Birmingham, anything? The fuck's going on here? Yeah. I mean, even like DC or Philadelphia, any like they appreciate college basketball more than Texas. Um, it's an easy bet here, though. Yeah, I'll take UAB in the points. <laughs> Sprinkle the money line. UAB outright. Let's go. Blaze. 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 Andy Kennedy, the, bo- the Bonnies are getting one and a half against Duquesne. CJ Sullivan's been talking shit. The amount of text messages I have from that guy. Oh, no. Give me the Bonnies. Lock. Let's go. You doing a little battle here? No, I you know I'm not going to bet against the Bonnies. I mean the Bonnies are my team, especially in this league. This is their league. They're going to win the league. It was my preseason pick. Bonnies all day. Let's go. Eight ten. Let's go. Noah. I I'm coming in for the last game that we were just talking about. I'm taking South Florida. I'm lock battling you guys. Ooh. 
Mac Mac likes his guy Andy Kennedy. I mean, we're not sugarcoating anything. Just sensing a little bit of favoritism, a little bit of bias there. Oh, South Florida is the one seed in this conference for a reason. They got the number one defense in the conference. I think South Florida shows up. They want an auto bid. Let's go. That is Give me one team suck. Here's what Kennedy's get up for big outings. As long and as he t- does it, as long as he, he won the conference tall. tournament last year in the Sun Belt, Kennedy, the he, he didn't, you know, uh, if you, I watched a shit ton of JFK documentaries recently. He didn't have to do that, but he, he thought he could steal some votes down there in, in Dallas, even though he knew he was going into enemy territory. He was like, <laughs> they, his, his wife even said, don't do it. Don't do it. But then she, she still joined him. And these, Kennedy's go in to tough environments. Now they might not always two, win. <laughs> these two they, teams played only once so far this year. South Florida lost at UAB by only four revenge angle. They can't say that very often. If you only took two losses in conference, give me the bowls. UAB 50. UAB. Pick Dundee and Max and give me that dragon shout to welcome to UAB. I know my last name is borderline impossible to spell and or pronounce, but can we uh, attempt to do a little bit better, K. Glitty? Benick. <laughs> Benick. Be- Benedict. That's very close to Benedict. Uh, Texas a and Florida. Do we have a line on that? Um, yeah. Lord. Uh, it's anywhere between two and a half or three and a half, whatever number you want more for either team. Florida's favored by two and a half. That's the best number you'll find on them. Man, this is a compelling matchup to me because Florida should have won the first one. Remember that game? Yeah. I'm locking A and M. So I they're gonna too. win. They're gonna win the game out, right? They're tougher, they're older. Buzz is really good in these short turnarounds. Easy. They're going back to the title game. Three straight years. Double lock. Give me the Aggies. They're tougher. Nebraska, Illinois. And real quick, fucking uh, the game's at 3.30 Eastern. Florida just got done playing like fucking an hour ago. That's a quick turn, too. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Throw that in there. Um, Nebraska and Illinois. Tom and Aga. Tom, what's this line? The fuck is this line? I saw it earlier. Four. Pull up yeah. tally site. Tally site's got like eight books in here, Colby. No, no, no. I don't do that shit. All right. That's better than pull me up this line. Pull me up this line. That that's what happened last night. I mean, whatever you're, you're using hasn't updated. Well, you're afraid you're gonna have to do your job and just put the numbers out there? No, I'm just the, saying the whatever you were working whatever you were working with last night didn't work because all the games are just getting finalized. That's true. But uh, I, I'm also juggling shit over here. The, juggling, the best number. Right? The best number you're going to get on Illinois is minus four. You can also get a plus four and a half on Nebraska. Give me the Corn Oscars plus four and a half. I don't feel great about this one. But no, I'm, betting it. I'm actually going to go on Illinois. I'm, I'm like terrified of this one, but I, 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 I love, I love Nebraska. I don't like the spot though. I, I thought Illinois got their scare out of the way. Actually, <laughs> what the fuck did I do wrong? Sorry. And then we'll fall back in love with Tom and Naga in March. So give me the Illini, and then they'll uh, they'll fold in March. If we ever had a horrible battle, this would be it. Because I don't have a lot of conviction. I got the Illini. Now we got a problem. Now we got a problem. <laughs> yeah. I just don't have a lot of just doesn't doesn't feel amazing. Um Temple, Florida Atlantic, the Battle of the Owls. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What could go wrong? <laughs> Temple is getting 12 <laughs> plus 450 on the money line. Quit disrespecting our guys. Who the fuck do they think Florida Atlantic is? All right. Who the fuck do they think they are? They're still that little commuter fucking school. All right. Give me Temple up. Take that Bill Cosby Jello money. 
You buying gay, you rigging games. Doing college basketball right. All right? Joe, but uh, give me the points and sprinkle that money line. Let's go. Dude, t- <laughs> Temple's, Temple may win this game outright. I, they they have turned a complete corner here. They're making shots. They're guarding. Uh, I thought they were better than their record. Year Clark's one in the you. Fisher era. Uh, Give me Temple. Lock it up, baby. Let's yes. go. Yes. Get this fucking FAU. In the name of Tim Perry. They're going to play with their food again. <laughs> Let's Temple. go. It's Philly tough. Iowa State is taking on Houston. Lock. Clones are getting five and a half plus 190 on the money line. Let's go. Clones what? double lock. We're agreeing too much. I mean, they're getting five and a half, five and a half points. DK. Well, they were getting two and a half in Ames. It's basically going to be an Ames tomorrow. Iowa State outright. They win the Big 12 again. Let's go. Down goes number one. Let's go. Let's go. Go, Cologne. New Mexico is getting one and a half against San Diego State tomorrow. San Diego State wins <laughs> minus one and a half. God damn it. I want to take them so bad, but I that's do. just the yeah. one bad matchup. Um, what are you doing here? Um, as much as I want to take New Mexico, I love New Mexico. This is the bad matchup. Give me San Diego State. I mean, they might as well uh, rename the Mountain West Invitational the fucking uh, San Diego State Invitational. San Diego yeah. State, lock it up. Dude, they're the one team in this conference that they doesn't play. Really well, they play a completely different style. Yeah. So like you're rolling along and they're just going to bring you into the fucking mud. Yep. Yep. No, it's a quick turn for New Mexico after Colorado state and Boise wins. I'm triple locking this with you guys. Uh, cocktail napkin has the Aztecs minus four and a half. A lot of hype around these Lobos right now. Well, I cry. Friends through eternity, loyalty, honesty will stay together through big or Greg's got a point. If the line's only one and a half, that right there there tells you New Mexico should get in. I agree. Um, Marquette, UConn. All right, so Madison are Square we Garden. like Coach yep. Saban, and we're only using Las Vegas betting odds to determine who gets in the playoff? Well, I guess so. If if it, if that's what it takes for me to speak in front of Congress. All right. I mean, what the fuck is that? I can, I can, off. I can make a great story about my wife cooking breakfast. All right. These kids are all about money, honey. Well, God damn it. This is America. All right. I'd love to know when it wasn't about money. All right. <laughs> Fucking check it. that story. Oh boy. Don't fall for it. <laughs> Don't fall for it. People. Um, uh, where the fuck am I at here? Marquette, Yukon. UConn's late eight and a half. Marquette's plus two seven in money line. Tyler Kolek might play. Give me no, that. Come, come fly with him. the Eagles. Come fly with the Eagles. Let's go. The bird. This is the this is the day of the bird. How many fucking birds did I take? Uh I might have to go wake up in the morning, go feed the fucking birds. Do that. You know what I mean? Have a peaceful morning. Actually, you know, I recently fed the birds at a restaurant. It's not very peaceful, actually. It, it turns out all the birds start fighting other birds. And it's uh it's fascinating. It's fascinating. And then the and then you might have a uh uh Mexican busboy uh <laughs> throw water on a bird. And then you say, dude, what the fuck are you doing? And then I said, <laughs> oh, I guess you deserved it because he was kind of being a dick yeah. to the other five birds. But at the same time, don't have a restaurant at the beach if you don't expect birds are going to come by the fucking place, you fucking jackasses. Uh, anyway, just an idea. Uh, more talk on birds coming coming soon in the off season. We're going to do a bird <laughs> ranking show. Um, what are we talking about? You're taking Marquette, right? Yeah, it's uh, somebody helped Daniel or Dan, Daniel out. Marquette sucks, but they've won every fucking game. I mean, they're fucking defending Vicky's champions. They don't have the starting says point Marquette guard. Sucks. 
So. Huh? No, no, no. The, not in the biggest tournament. No. They well, suck in Shaka, the NCAA tournament. <laughs> Shaka as a fucking dog where nobody's giving him fucking a chance. We've seen this before. Last yeah. year at VCU. Give me Marquette. We also saw this exact situation where Shaka was a dog. Nobody gave him a chance against UConn, and they got ran the fuck out of the building. Lock battle. That was in UConn. The stores. This is this is be- after two straight games for Marquette barn burners, both against Villanova and then today against Providence. Yeah, you, UConn was a fucking barn burner today. Fucking Patino had that they fucking still, thing right they there. They still pulled away at the end when they needed to. So you, UConn's going to win this one they by double by digits. Easy. Five. Double digits. Nah, Marquette. Marquette Battle. Dondi, Max, fly with the Eagles. Can't pay the birds on Sunday. Oh, yes, I'm the out of here. Tomorrow's the day of the bird. Saturday. Tomorrow's the day of the bird, Phoenix. Phoenix on UConn. It's Saturday, not Sunday. Marquette yeah. outright. Let's fucking go, Shaka. Let's I don't get want to be friends with anyone that knows the fucking days. All right. <laughs> All right. old Bobby Her- or Danny so Hurley. You sounded whatever. like Danny I've only, Hurley been count- I've only been counting down the days till we see a bracket for about three months now. A lot of UConn <laughs> smashes in the chat. What could go wrong, Noah? Shout out to Clark. He knows about Arepas. I've been having Arepas all fucking week. They're fantastic. They're done right. Um, next up, uh, we go to Kent State Akron. Awesome game. Winner goes to the NCAA tournament. Akron's laying four and a half. I am buying in. Give me the zips minus four and a half. Oh, no. Yep. They've been the best team all year. They just got in a funk for about two weeks. Battle? Kent State underachieved. They found their rhythm. This is their league tomorrow. Their city. <laughs> Kent State takes over Cleveland. Get the zip oh, shit out of here. Problem. Rob yeah, General, going back to the dance. <laughs> this game's going to be awesome. I'm oh, with yeah. Mac. Double lock. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't have the screen. Say it again. I'm with Mac. Double lock it. Cocktail napkin only has them plus one and a half. It all makes sense, right? Nope. Gets it done by double digits. Dundee with the zips. Phoenix. Mac with the golden flash. Next up, we go to St. Peter's and Fairfield. Here we go, baby. I have a future on both. I'm going to sit back and just talk shit. This is one where I, I hedge by default. <laughs> um, well, do you have a line on this? Why am I not seeing the line? Fairfield's laying two, and the wrong team is favored. No. Fairfield's the best team in Connecticut. <laughs> they prove it tomorrow. And look, I'm in a win win spot. They're both my futures. I don't really give a fuck. But See, now, outright. But, but now I might give a fuck when I put $100 more <laughs> on the line battle with Fairfield. Yes, let's go. Let's battle. This is going to be awesome. Let's go, Peacocks. Um, now we got a problem. Hey, hey, now we got no. a problem. <laughs> Tell me you've seen that video, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dundee. Riding with the best team in Connecticut. Mac taking the Peacocks. Goodbye. <laughs> UTEP, Western Kentucky. It all comes crashing down. Get this tank bullshit. Actually, hang on. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Loading up a little shot. So I, I occasionally hop over to tally site and look at my records on teams. If they're not number one, I think they're number two, but I think they might be number one after the past couple of days. And that is me taking on these Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, which by the way, uh, shout out. I'm drawing a blank on the, the Twitter handle that sent me this, but 
I owe you a fucking legit shout out. Now research that the Kentucky, the Western Kentucky. Well, well, I can't fucking talk. The Hilltoppers are getting it done and we're drinking to that. Mac, you want to battle me? Oh yeah, Let's baby. Go. Give me my, I've been on the miners all fucking year. I've been riding them and I said, we've been underachieving. We got it done against the one seed. And we're gonna fucking go dancing, Joe Golding. Let's go, like Abilene Christian when he knocked off Shock in Texas. Give me You're pissing away your money. Uh, give me fucking the Miners. Tink, tink, tink. The tops are tink. the best team in All Kentucky. Day. Best team in Kentucky are the Dan tops. Barry's bored. He's gonna come in there and freaking uh, <laughs> give a little bad. Beanie, what are you doing here? I'm with Matt. Give me you top. Oh, Ooh, this is Beanie. great. <laughs> You guys are gonna eat a bundle of shit tomorrow. It's gonna be fantastic. We got a battle, Dundee, with them tops, with them tops. Yes, tink, tink, tink says Beanie get back. Oh, college basketball is the greatest. Um, the Pussy Pack <laughs> are getting nine and a half against North Carolina. Bet him every game this tournament. Why stop now? God damn it. Why is it nine and a half? Uh oh. We're going to have a ball game. <laughs> Let's take the pussy pack. Jimmy V, flashbacks. Kevin Keats going Let's... dancing. Contract extension. Bid Steeler Saturday night. NC State money line. Let's go. I, I was hoping the spread would be more like five. Nine and a half. Give me the pussy pack and the points. Give me the pussy pack. Let's go. North Carolina wins by three. Fuck the ACC. They don't deserve an extra bit. <laughs> <I'm with you. laughs> um, Oregon, Colorado. God damn it. This is great. Buffs are laying two and a half. I would love to see Dana Altman in the NCAA tournament. You know what? I'm a Colorado Oregon. fan. But I think we should. You. I think we should take Oregon. I think we should too. I think this is flashbacks of whenever the Pac-12 had a bid stealer. Yeah. Somehow they always win. Oregon. Not only Oregon. do they win, they go to like the fucking elite eight. Yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. Oregon. Quack. 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 Quack, quack, give me the ducks. I hate to do that. It could be a retirement tour for uh, Altman, so maybe a little get up spot for the old ball coach like Munson at Long Beach. I know that game's coming up. I like it. Yeah, it is coming right up. Uh, But before we get to that, Texas Southern's laying one against Grambling. Put your fucking entire. Uh, Folks, what are you doing? I'm walking. Uh, If you beg. Beanick, put the LeBaron. (laughs) Get a quote. I know you're not. (laughs) <laughs> Go up, get a fucking quote on the LeBaron tonight. All right. And put that much money. Find someone in the streets of Michigan to bet the price, the value of that LeBaron <laughs> on Texas Southern. You're how taking Texas it? Southern. How, it's how every does year. Texas Southern do it every year. Cause they fuck around. It's, like, it's, it's fuck grambling. You know, grambling you know the video of like Kobe and Shaq just dicing up the entire league, the highlight yeah. video. I yeah. saw somebody put that out at the beginning of March, saying that uh, that time of year again where Texas Southern goes on a run. I'm like, you smart ass. Like that is perfect because that's exactly what happens every year. How are, how is the one seed not favored in the championship game here? It's telling you what's going to happen. Oh, I also go. have I also have a future on Texas Southern and it caches. Yeah. This is the triple lock? Oh, yeah. 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 No. Get this, get this this I have speed. a future yeah. on Texo too. A LeBaron. Triple lock on Texas Southern. Long Beach State. UC Davis. Jim Les is laying one. Don't insult me. <laughs> Wrong team. Favor. Don't insult me. This is, this is a triple favor. lock. Noah, get your ass in here. I don't even care if you <laughs> haven't even done the numbers on this. Don't do As your numbers. financial advisor, <laughs> Beanick, the LeBaron's going to have some nice rims on it after this one. We're going to yeah. put some. 
get up. We're gonna we're gonna put a little a little something. Dan on the Baron. Uh, how about how about some switches? But um, we should go Long Beach and Texas Southern Parlay in the late window. We really should. I mean, they're gonna fuck. Yes, this is a wow. lock. This is a lock. Yeah. I'm putting Noah in here. Noah, one of your prostitutes is coming from this Long Beach game. Yeah. Um. Let's go. Final game on the slate. UT Arlington, Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon's laying five and a half. Oh, <laughs> how funny. I think this is standalone, correct? Here we go. Well, trust me, I'm betting the hell out of this anyway. Because this line is disrespectful. It is absolutely disrespectful. Arlington ain't only covering it. They're winning this fucking thing outright. We got a live dog sitting in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> What's the line? You never said it. five and a half. Five and a half. Oh, my favorite line to take a dog. Arlington out fucking right. Wins a whack. We've been riding him since February 1st. Let's go, Mavericks. All fucking over it. I'll All triple lock this one with you guys. Oh, there we go. This Grand Canyon cocktail shit out napkins here. got this one only a plus three. Party, We've pal. been on the Mavs since the beginning of the year. Thought they were going to be a much better team. They're figuring it out lately. Let's go, UTA. Triple lock. That's our show. That is our fucking show. Uh, best bet, play them all. Um, <laughs> I mean, the one that I feel best about. I don't know. I hate this because I'm betting everything tomorrow, but I would say it's, it's actually probably Vermont, but uh, I, I mean, I feel great about a lot of those late ones, Texas Southern, Texas Southern actually feel better than even Vermont, I think, but Vermont is pretty fucking secure. Mac. I'm going to go to the power and light district. Keep those points. I don't need five and a half. Iowa state money line. And they should be a one seed on Selection Sunday if they win this game. Let's go. Beanick, top play of the day. Don't let his Big 12 propaganda. Hilton South, baby. Hilton South, baby. Come on. Come on. I'm on San Diego State. San Diego State for me, minus one and a half. I like that play, too. Mm. Good Good play. All right, folks. We are the college basketball experience. We love doing this show. Appreciate you tuning in. 905 people. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Tomorrow, right. we'll recap the uh, championship games. We'll pick the five remaining games for Sunday, but we'll also talk a bit about the bubble. And I'm live. The NCAA tournament field. And I'm live tomorrow. Uh, I am live tomorrow uh, with Terrell Furman at 8 a.m. Pacific. Also, if you're real swift and you live in fucking. Uh, Rhode Island, you're going to hear me on the fucking radio earlier than that. Let's go until next time, folks. Actually. Yeah. G- give Noah being a follow on Twitter at Noah B 77 underscore max on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. I'm on Twitter at the Colby D the college basketball experience is on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. All you people in the chat are fucking fantastic. Even the, even that, even that cunt Sarah coming in here talking that shit. <laughs> it's a joke. All right, don't take everything so serious. This one All was right? my favorite one. I made sure I started it. Dump truck yeah. daddy burns sitting on Colby's face. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Talk your shit. You won a game. Put us on the schedule. And you won't win a game. All right. Until next time. <laughs> this is the college basketball experience. You better start thinking about yours. And we out of here. <laughs>
lips and jaws. I use my common sense to see the bitch and all. Good thing you got the market corner, kids and moss. Rip the bag carpet as you slip and fall off. Another career spear, thanks for trying to block. You get an A for effort and an effort, shut the fuck up. Here's a hint. Put down the mic, you catch a glimpse. And keep them eyes wide when you see me. Mike's I see them. So when you see him, you got a good reason to look. Catch a glimpse. Dirty out. A lot of these heads need to improve their improv. Talent's not a program. You download the install. Quality spread through hard work, no involved. My peers respect me because I'm genuinely involved. Beyond gathering names to build up my money list. You decide friendships and pounds and suicide and bloody risk. Come equipped or leave empty handed. They don't call me C's for nothing. See the camera? Smile. Click. Here comes the picture. You act like a child. Manhood don't fit you. I'll break your own style. Down to a bumper sticker. And never need a gun to lift you. Here's a hint. Put down the mic and catch a glimpse. And keep them eyes wide when you see me. Mike's I see them. So when you see him, you got a good reason to look. Catch a glimpse. Some of rap's dinosaurs think the corporate fat cats Critique and metaphors and can't afford a new backpack Hit you for the fast track, homie, you better scratch that Need to pay some dues or learn the rules of the mouse trap Holler and mic check, on the counter for a bounce flat and play it Play on, play it, your game is dated My afraid cause you hate it, don't claim by coastal Your crew with the balloons and the ice cream social The industry's a joke, I'm not the only one laughing Fit your neck with the yoke and pursue your passion Last in the race, how's the view from behind? Away from the front, catch a glimpse, shut your eyes Here's a hint, put down the mic, you catch a glimpse And keep them eyes wide when you see me My son sees them, so when you see him You got a good reason to look, catch a glimpse Move alone, there's nothing to see here If I was a nice mother, I wouldn't be here